Guys, don't listen to Sharky. Why is it always, why is it always Sharky? Like, why is it always, why can't it be, any, why is it no, no one else? No one else causes trouble in this Discord and on this channel, except for Sharky. Like, has no one questioned that before? It makes no sense. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just over here getting ready to start a stream, and I look in the chat, and I see Sharky causing trouble. Why? Why? It doesn't have to happen. But Sharky makes it happen, and I'm not gonna lie. Kinda sick of it. Kinda sick of it, Sharky. There we go, my camera should be better now. <laughs> what's up, what's, what's going on, guys? Happy to have you here for another Dangin' Rampa stream. Let me just go ahead and share this link on the Discord really quick. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today is gonna be just another chill, Dang and romp the stream, you know. Who are we going to hang out with? I still haven't decided who we're hanging out with, to be honest. There we go. Boom! Okay. Go ahead and put on my headphones. Glad to be here, says light. Excellent, excellent. All I'm doing is asking for your opinion. Well, I don't like it. I, I'm I'm the one in charge of the, the... I am Dr. Bonehead. There can be no other Dr. Bone... Okay, I'm not saying that to be, like, arrogant. I'm just saying. You can't just come in here and take the title. It's not even a title. It's my identity. You can't just take my identity away from me. You know? that That's treason. That's blasphemy. All right, for some reason, the chat's not showing up on the screen. Let me give it a second. Maybe it's good now. Dr. Sharkhead, though, see, that I can get behind. At least you have your own identity that way. You're not just ripping me off, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, I can understand that at least. If you guys are just joining, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, that way, people, it'll bolster that algorithm. We can get more people in here for the start. Hiyoko, all free time of alpha? No, no, no. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Saying that we're gonna hang out with Hiyoko? You're, you're clearly new here. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding, Stes. Stes Mosh. I would rather die than hang out with Hiyoko. I would actually rather just not hang out with anybody. I would rather... Dude, I'll hang out with... Peko's... Okay, that was, that was dark. That was... Okay. Dude, freaking rip Peko, bro. That was easily... Okay. We had some conversations about last week's trial in the Discord. My consensus on the trial is it might be my favorite one, at least emotionally. Emotionally, this was by far the trial that hit the most. No, no question, bro. No question. I mean, the relationship between Pekko and Fuyahiko, and the way how they both, like, they almost both died from it, and just the way that Pekko was breaking down and then Fuyahiko was breaking down as she was, like, oh my gosh, I've never felt so horrible during an execution or during a trial. You know, like, even with, like, the second, the first game. Like, Mondo, for example, uh, spoilers, was, like, probably the toughest one for me. Because I was like, dude, I actually like Mondo a lot. You know, Celeste I liked, but I knew she was a freaking murderer. You know, Leon, it's like, whatever, bro. Um, that was kind of it, right? Because Sakura killed herself. So it's like, with Mondo, I was like, man, this sucks. But it wasn't, it wasn't like I was about to cry over him or anything. You know, it was just like, whoa, I cannot believe he's gone. With this one, it was like, what the freak about, I'm like watching this, dr a drama unfold in front of me and, and he's getting his eye cut, freaking, you know, and there's blood everywhere and she's getting crushed. And you know, they're crying their eyes out for the first time. I was like, oh my, like, what am I playing? Am I still playing Danganronpa? What the frick? It was, it was kind of not okay, to be honest with you. Um... But it was good. I really liked it. Um, I know there was a bit of a conversation about how it was handled. I, I loved it, bro. I loved that trial. I thought it was so good. Um, so today we're going to be going for another three to four hours, as per the usual. And um, 
Yeah, let's see if we get to another murder, huh? We shall certainly see. Let me go ahead and connect my controller. Or maybe that was the last murder, huh? By the way, freaking Monami, bro. At the end, Monami had a really interesting scene where she was like, I'll protect them, but she was also talking about like they can't remember. You know, she like clearly knows stuff and is clearly hiding something from us, which we know, but at the same time, we can we can clearly tell she is fighting for the group. So anyway, I said we get started, bro. What, what are we waiting on, you know? There's no reason to dilly-dally, as they say. I just got a weird flashback. Anyway. <laughs> the words dilly-dally, for some reason, stuck, stuck out in my... I think I'm going crazy. I think I'm actually losing my mind. I think all these deaths and executions are making me go insane. What the heck was that? Steam, shut up. Okay. Uh, psh, psh, open this up. Danganronpa 2. I almost said Danganronpa 2 trigger happy havoc. That would be incorrect. Uh, let me do this. I always have to open it twice. I don't know why. I, got, I guess we got to launch it. We got to launch it. All right. Then I got to close out of it. Sure. Boom. Okay. Dude, I don't know why it does that. Gamepad. There we go. I said we watched the opening. It's been a couple weeks. I need to know, uh, I need to look at the, the faces of these beloved, uh, beloved students. It's, it's a, I don't know why, I can't, okay. The stream labels are incorrect. I'll get rid of them later. I'm not sure why they're not disappearing. All right, here we go. Monokuma and Monami. Okay, here, okay, I'm going to look at the cast and make my prediction for, um, the next victim. All right? I'm going to predict the next victim right here. Calling it right now. It's Kazuichi. Kazuichi's the next victim, bro. I'm sorry. Someone has to say it. Someone has to say it, bro. It's Kazuichi. If it's Ibuki, I'm losing my mind. It can't be. All right. It's Kazuichi. It's Kazuichi. It's Kazuichi. It's Kazuichi. I'm s so, I'm I don't say I want it to be. I didn't say I wanted it to be Kazuichi. It's Kazuichi though. You're not convincing me otherwise, bro. Alright, I'm gonna put a little bit of a screen at the bottom of the chat. It's not much, but just a little something just in case a, a spoiler slides in there for a couple seconds. Alright. We stopped right at the end of the chapter. Let's load it up. I, I'm not saying it's gonna... I, I'm saying this is what I think is gonna... I'm not saying I want it to be. Sheesh. Frick, bro. How... How... How is this starting? All right. Who is this? No one's here, right? What the frick, Yoko? What are you doing? What is she doing? Dude, your best friend just died. At least have some dignity. Man, I can totally see it now. Those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprised look on their dumb faces, huh? But they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. What the frick is going on? I have been saying Kazuichi every chap. That's true, but like I actually mean it this time. I actually mean it this time. All right, you gotta believe me. Alrighty. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What the frick was that sequence? What was that? Oh my goodness! I hate the way he talks, bro. Shut up, you stupid bear. Morning, huh? 
In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Aw. Bro, he is messed up. That was the goriest execution, too, in my opinion, because at least the other ones are more comical. Mondo gets electrocuted into butter. You know, um, Teru Teru getting baked alive was kind of... But, but it cut away. Like, we couldn't see it entirely. This one, it literally showed her, like... It didn't really show her, but it showed him get sliced up. That was crazy. Involving himself in Pekko's execution like that. Suffering all those wounds. Is he really going to live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. Dude, he's such a poet. Worry has consumed my heart. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Lie here, lay, blah. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right, just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma afterward. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. He's safe, guys. He's safe. We're fine. Everything's fine. Bro, I keep hitting restart stream labels. Nothing happens, bro. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Apparently, uh, Chris Farr is dominating for another day longer. Because I... Alright. I say we leave. Into the... Sonya, I put you in the thumbnail! It's only... I knew that you'd be the first person I met. Good morning, Sonya. Huh? Hajime? Get back! Who do you think I am? What the heck? Uh, that was unintentional. It is okay. Please be your usual self. She rarely ever acts like that. Uh, yeah. That was close. I was really going to kneel before her. I am terribly sorry. I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I could not sleep at all. Does she act like that at home? But it's because she's abroad, she's being kinder? That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. Okay, you look the same. I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-ta! She looked like she normally does, but just as I thought, Sonya and I were worrying about the same thing. Is Fuyuhiko really okay? I mean, no. But, like, he'll live, bro. You know. It doesn't mean he's... He's gonna live, but not be okay. Because, let's be real, he's not okay. Oh, I went in the back way. I'm going in through the back entrance. The underground entrance. Chiaki! Good morning, Chiaki. Are you okay? Yeah, good morning. <laughs> You're up earlier than usual. I was trying to not mimic her, where she just stands there, and then she's like... Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Yeah, like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by completely focused on in gaming. By being completely focused in gaming. Kind of like a lot of people do in real life. Or is it just me? Which is honestly a, a good thing sometimes. You know. Video games can be really helpful in a lot of situations. A good uh, way to pour time into something else. Keep your mind off things. You little goblin. You little goblin. What were you doing? Wait. She's not the one cooking, is she? Well, Hajime, you're already here. Hiyoko, you're the only one here. Why, what are you acting so anxious about? I just realized something. I gave Girl B the most, like, valley girl voice ever. Which is the same voice I give Hiyoko. And I did that without realizing that Girl B was Hiyoko. I'm so smart. Guys, I'm so smart. I'm actually so smart. All the other voices were wrong, but... <laughs> Hiyoko, you're the only one here. What, what are you acting so anxious about? I'm not acting anxious. I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? Yeah, never trust a Hiyoko, bro. You know what You know what they say. Never trust Sayanji Hiyoko. Everyone should be arriving here soon. I should wait here for a while. I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. It's just a coincidence. Okay. Well, is there anything... What the frick is this? Uh, what is this? This is creepy. Did Hiyoko actually set this up? 
Is Yoko like a cultist? What the heck is this? It's all the pictures that Mahiru took. What? Oh, shoot, sorry. The panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. She's like offering her soul to the freaking. Didn't Mahiru take these photos? What's with this terrifying ambience? Hi. Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration! Alright. Stop trying to hide it! Whoops. I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> my hero's gonna be happy too. Oh my dude, like I, maybe the thought, maybe it's the thought that counts, but that is terrifying. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? <laughs> hey Yoko, hey Hiyoko, did you? Uh, good, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. What are you looking at? Huh? <laughs> ah! What are these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? I miss these characters. Yo, I'm gonna die this chapter, I guessing. What's all this ruckus in the morning? This is bad. But please take a look at the, those photos. If he lives, I will never doubt him again. He, if he lives this chapter, he's making it to the end of the game. Huh? Photos? Whoa! What the heck? Oi, 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 oi! Oi, 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 oi! What kind of ominous crap is I love when they do that. Is this some like something used for sorcery? This is clearly an insult against Mahiru. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. <laughs> this is too much to actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. Yoko is like, come on, I put so much work into this. You're such an idiot, bro. Uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good morning, everyone. She's gonna like it. Good morning, girl. <laughs> I, was, I, I was like, she's gonna have the best reaction, bro. What's with those nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy huge ominous aura. There is no excuse. Oh, nope, she doesn't like it. She did, she likes serial killers and stuff, so I thought maybe she'd be like, wow, this is so interesting. This That was a pretty good impersonation, huh? This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? You're right. There's no way Mahiru will be happy with this. She won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry she'll cry tears of blood. Oh! First of all, she's... she If she's, you know, she's a spirit. You know, chilling in the afterlife. So I don't know if she's gonna be crying. Second of all, what? Man, who the hell did this? No. We'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime... Fire! Start the fire! We'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiru can reach Nirvana! Seriously, this is... You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. You know what? Hey, mad respect, bro. Mad respect. Because, like, as creepy as it is, I do think it was done with the best intentions. Huh? Mourn Mahiru? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Well, if you change the music, yes. <laughs> Mahiru's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Aww, she's smiling. So I definitely think... Yep, it's a nice decoration. 
After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. Oh my, no. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> oh, she's starting to cry. Aww. Oh, that's, that's actually kind of sweet. I don't really want to burn it. She still sucks, but... Huh? Masaka. Um, was the person who made this... Aw, that's kind of that's kind that's kind of sweet. <laughs> my hero was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. My hero's probably lonely by herself, so I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. Okay, that's kind of sweet. That I have I have to admit that's kind of sweet. <laughs> Yoko, you, <laughs> they all, just like that, they all switch their tone. I did want to make it look better, but, but, but unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. I'm sorry. I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. I'm sorry, Yoko. I'm sorry. Yeah. How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it looks like he put a lot of thought into the decorations. He's the only one who's genuinely like, okay, I still don't buy it, but like, I'll say that I like it. <laughs> He's like, you know, it's okay. <laughs> so let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. Yeah. No, it should come with us when we get off this island too. Wow. It would be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. Aww. <laughs> Aw, oh, that's kind of sweet. That's kind of sweet. What about Pekko? I mean, to be fair, Pekko murdered their friend. So, like, I kind of get why they're not putting her on the same level. So we're not going to burn it? Of course not. We could never burn it. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? <laughs> Fine. Then I'll forgive you all. Except me, kind of course. Okay, frick you. <laughs> why? Why are you so strict with me? Man, it's so unexpected. I really can't imagine Hyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Who cares about that? <laughs> Hyoko has a very kind heart. Kind of, come on, it's not like that. Aww. Geez, stop it already. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Seriously, stop it, don't tease me. Okay, so this is good because before... The only person who liked Hiyoko was Mahiru. The only person who cared about her at all. Or showed her any sign of affection. Or tried, to, you know? Which, it, most of it was Hiyoko's fault. And they, that's why they were so quick to jump on Hiyoko, too, being the murderer. But now, you can tell that they've all started to warm up to her. Which is really sweet. Aw, oh, Hiyoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Oh, Alright. Every time I say something nice about her, I regret it immediately. Shut the frick up, you pig-faced troll! <laughs> Why only me? At any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. It's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm, really? Feels like we made such a bit huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. That's just like you guys. Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. Exactly! That's the reason we, why we can move forward, without feeling despair toward our situation. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Aw, oh, dude, Chiaki's like the actually the best character, though. Splendid, huh? Ah, oh, Gundam! I have arrived. Apologies for the wi- What the? Oh no, is he gonna destroy it? Oh, I didn't even think about Gundam. What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? <laughs> A malice clings to Mahiru even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it! Wow, this is a very hopeless object. Forgot about you too, Nagito. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. Come on, guys! We just agreed it's a good thing. Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for more than a second. Stand aside! I shall shatter this barbaric, blasphemous false idol to pieces! Uh-oh. Oh no. Way to ruin the moment. <laughs> now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? <laughs> Looks like it's gonna take a little more time. <laughs> I completely agree. 
The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh, but at least it was a peaceful scene. Oh, it wasn't destroyed? That's what I'm talking about, bro. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this piece would be. Of course, you gotta say that. Even though we were finally bonding, the situation was brewing, like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Or not, we could just chill. Chapter three, trapped by the ocean scent. Daily life. Is this the new island? There's a movie theater? Okay. Dude, the murder's gonna happen in the movie theater. It always does. Oh, I'm stuffed, I can't eat another damn bite. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Uh. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Uh, no. Is he really alright? I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Mm. Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if only I could have tended to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. Mm. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Oh my, no. Did you just forget? Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? No, she has a point. Now that I got a belly full of food, I'm all set. Because if he dies, Monokuma broke his own rule. So. So. Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. Alright. Avenge? He's not even dead. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. Well, yeah. Dude, you're gonna die, bro. Please don't. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Okay, everyone, can I have your attention, please? Did you kill another monster? No, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Man, the fun mood's over now, thanks to you. Dude, come on. Huh? Did I just ruin the mood? Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Hey, who the hell are you? <laughs> okay, Akane. We're talking about something important, so go away. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no! I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider! <laughs> just what do you- just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Ah, oh, you finally asked me! Well, once again, I've defeated another mana beast! How do you like me now? I've worked hard, didn't I? So, I've been wondering about this. It seems weird that, like, magic is literally possible in this world. And the fact that this is like an artificial island, I'm wondering, and I, I thought this at the beginning, it just seems so weird. This, uh, this game is a very, like, video game style look. Like, on the top left, you can see, like, the... Something's weird about this place, that's all I'm saying. Like, I don't know... I don't know, it's just so weird. Like, I... everything seems so fake, I don't know. How do you like me now? I've worked hard, didn't I? If you defeated a mana beast, that means... <laughs> That's right, you were not able to visit yet another island! <laughs> so let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Huh? Are you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? More importantly, Monami, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um, you see, I don't really know. Ah, uh, shoot. Miss Sonya, can't you just see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You're also part of the mysterious World Ender Organization, aren't you? That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Well... Hey! I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally filled us in. Uh, what a dilemma. But that's the one thing I can't say. Truly, this is a... Tra this is a tragedy of middle of management. <laughs> Poor freaking. Poor Monami. There's no rule about attacking Monokuma and taking up a two? True! You seem to be forgetting that you're playing a video game? I know, but like, 
You know what I mean. Come on. You know what I mean. There's really no rule. Hmm. Wait, what was that? Additional school trip rules. Oh, rules. I thought it said additional school trips will be added. I was like, what? She ran away again! She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Oh, well, who cares about Monami? More importantly, she mentioned a new island. What should we do? At least he's not tied up now. I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. But we must move forward, no matter how de what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. Oh, is that Pac? Hey, Pac, what's up? Long time no see, dude. What hope? Oh, what hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as blah, 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 blah. just as annoying as Monokuma. I'm also worried about Fuyahiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? We should explore! Isn't it better if we do what we can? Well, we can, huh? She's right. Let's try to find a way off his island before he comes back. Hmm. You are right. Fuyahiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. I agree with Miss Sanya. Of course you do, you simp. I love you for it though, Kazuichi. Then it's decided. Okay, do you guys agree though that simp is kind of overused? I rarely say it, but when I do say it, I'm like, man, I kind of feel bad that I just said that because it's it's said so much. Let's explore and search for a new hope. That's a Star Wars movie. I, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I know that much. So wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the mono beasts and search all the islands in one go? If that strange looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hey, I don't think... Don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. Why are you inspiring us, bro? It's strange. After that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. He's totally pulling us along, bro. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. You just finished your chemistry exam? Nice! Hopefully it went well. New Islands time, that's kind of poggers, not gonna lie. I'm gonna run like this so I can get some, uh, my egg hatching. Because let's be real, I rarely ever do this. Oh, oh, we have to spend our coins. Scratch that, I, I changed my mind. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. All right. Oh, if I'm a slow poke, it'll be sunset. Oh, well, freaking never mind. Forget I said anything. Thanks, Pac. Appreciate it. All right, we know the second island. Third island. Here we go. Monami was right. The mana beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then, if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness I felt. I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. Alright, what's here? The frick? The residences and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. Not just that. There's definitely no sign of any people here either. Well, okay, that's to be expected. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Got tumbleweeds and crap? Whoa. Okay, the movie theater. The Wizard of Monami? Wild Gunman Monokuma? And the Wizard of Mon- The- Instead of the Wizard of Oz. Freaking come on. All right. What the frick is that on the right? Wait, who is that? Is that someone we know? It doesn't look like it. Welcome! We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing, what does that mean? 
All right, it's just for show. Look around. This is a movie theater, right? Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not going to watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never going to see it. Wow, he's jumping to conclusions like I know what the frick you're up to. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. Aw, oh, crap. If you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than the game you made. That crappy game. That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! On this island, my word is law. If I don't watch it, what are you gonna do about it? Ooh. Yo, he was like, what are you gonna do, huh? There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it, but... I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker? What is this? Yeah, I don't know who that is. It's a video game poster. Hm, looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. Yeah, it looks kind of cool, actually. There's no way to last a direct attempt. There's no way to allow it, but I'll forgive you for purchasing a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter. Okay. Um, let me just explore. Oh! Aha! You can't get away from me! Wow. Okay, the Wild West. Kind of? Is that? I guess. The sombrero, I guess. It's Yeah, it's more like the... Yeah, I don't know. It's not really Wild West. It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. Uh... Okay. Let me check out the door. Really? Frick, I did not mean to do that. Hey, where do you think you're going? You're watch movie by the sticker. Sorry! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. That's the next game? Huh? Ultra Despair Girls? No way, are you serious? Really? Oh, that's kind of cool. Interesting. Is, it, is that a good game? Like, is that... I'm supposed to play that after this? Before the third game? Huh. We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Hey, didn't you say you didn't want to watch my movie? You really do want to watch it, right? You should just be honest with me and hand you that invitation ticket. No, 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 no. Give me the sticker, bro. No, the movie doesn't show the next game. This poster is just an Easter egg. That's so cool! It was actually in Danganronpa 1 2 in a Monokuma theater? No way! That's so cool! Wow. There's some strange goods on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal, a decal of Monami's face on it. Decal? Yeah. Ah, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's kind of cool, actually. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. I, I believe it. So, how about it? Want to buy it? I'll pass, okay. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be up front with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. He's like, you know what? I'll admit it's a piece of garbage. That's too up front. Is this the sticker you were talking about? Bro, like why? Like why? It's really good, yes. Play after this one as spoilers for this game, but comes out before the third main game? Really? Oh, cool, okay. No, it wasn't. That was the soccer-related game that showed... Then it was ass replaced by this? Oh, that's so cool. I'm sorry I was born stupid. It's a banger? I'm excited to play it. It's not funny. I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed is this? <laughs> oh, shoot. To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering miracle-working priest. <laughs> And it could be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars? Don't mess with me, I don't even have that kind of money. Then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. <laughs> He's like, I, would, I do not want to watch your movie. Well, I'm surprised. A 
As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even $1.5 million. You're the first person to ever pay $1.5 million for this sticker. Dude, he's playing you so bad. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? Makes me a sad Monokuma. But if I'm going to make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money, after all. He's the worst mascot ever. He's an okay mascot. He's terrible, but that's what makes him good. Come on, take it, thief, and slap it on your forehead, thief. Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. And I thought it was gonna be cheap. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I'm a little crazy. Well there, looks like the showing is over. Alrighty, I gotta collect those questionnaires. That Mon at that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away toward the door leading into the theater. Slam. The door opened violently and one person appeared with from within. Being a little violent, eh, Nagito? He watched the movie? Ah, Nagito! Please answer my questionnaire! It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. And then it felt like weeks while I was watching it. Bro, at least your game was, like, playable. Um, well, I, I guess that's what art is. Because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. I thought it was going to be another motive. But I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. Nagito is so depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. Nagito's like, dude, that pushed me over the edge. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have got me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million and not watch that movie, I'd gladly pay it. Oh my gosh. Quick answer. The movie must have been that bad, huh? That is hilarious, bro. Wait, don't leave yet because I want to look at this poster again. DSP or something? That's really cool. What the heck? I wonder what the game is about. Hmm. That's really cool. I kind of want to see the movie now, I'm not going to lie. Electric Avenue. Oh, Kazuchi's going to be here. You know it. He's not really a computer guy, but... Actually, maybe not. He's more of a gearhead, I guess. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? That's true! Wait! They're handing us computers! Alter Ego? Is Alter Ego gonna be chilling here? I mean, I know Alter Ego's dead, but like, Alter Ego kinda lived on. Looks like it's best if I search around here. Uh, there, I knew it, bro. I knew it. Oh, I see you, Monokuma. <sighs> Are you serious? Are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so much machinery. D don't say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable, conflicted feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why? Why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's all this machinery lined up here. Hot oh. damn, I want to take them apart! I want to dismantle them and look inside, that's how I usually think, right? <laughs> but I know now's not the time for me to do something like that, and that's why I feel so conflicted. Okay, fair enough. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yeah! It's like, if you had the hots for a chick... You, <laughs> you want to take off her clothes, right? And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like, her ribs are where parts of her bones stick out, right? Okay, dude. Dude, alright. I... That's not normal. That's a, that's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. <laughs> dude. 
<laughs> oh my god. Seriously? He's like, wait! I was the only one! <laughs> Bro. Oh my gosh. Uh, I see. So wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. He's like, I had no idea. <laughs> Pretty much. Kazuichi, come on, bro. Get it together. Let's go! Uh, I see. He's a little perverted. I didn't know that's him a pervert after all. Is this me? Is he really surprised about that? He genuinely thought that was normal. What is this? There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Uh, I don't really recommend that section. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there. It's all machines used for stuff like wiretape, wiretapping, and recording secret videos. This is going to be so huge for the next case. Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Uh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, alright? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonya? He says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who'll eventually use them. Bro, you gotta calm down. There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really old. Looks like they're not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. It looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. Okay, okay. And the laptop corner! Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Jeez. Though they're a little old fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know. If we can connect to the internet. We might be able to call for help with these. All right, here's the problem. You're on an island in the middle of nowhere. And you expect to connect to the internet? Come on, dude. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. Alter ego? I'm holding out hope, bro. It's not gonna happen. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. It looks like it's not connecting. Oh, there's no way it'd be that easy. But just when I was about to give up, my eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami, that's her real name. Usami X File. What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope's Peak Academy causing a revolt? What? Wait, so the tragedy was caused by Hope's Peak students? The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus. Whoa, we're getting so much information, what? And hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, oh, Junko? It, no, no, nah, maybe. It spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup d'état. It seemed to have a very, it seemed to have a much different purpose. I love when people read that word and say coup d'état. It makes me so happy. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It's both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, who spells therefore like that? It is, oh, oh shoot, the words are cutting out. It is a subversive movement full of despair. Hope's Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each.
Wait, so... Yeah, that's true. This theme tells you that something important is coming. Wait! So you're telling me... That... That... Makoto... And Kyoko... And Byakuya... And Hifumi... Freaking Pekko... They were all there... For this tragedy... Possibly... But like different classes or something? But then... But then they were all like... Cryoed... And forced to participate in this game... Maybe to be punished? I don't know... It's no use. The words are too garbled to read beyond this point. But... What is this? Hmm... How normal? It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? <laughs> oh my gosh. Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? My, my, what makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? Riots in various parts of the world? And Hope's Peak Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And, and? What's Hope's Peak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows it. What? Wait, what did the reserve department do? The students were dissatisfied with being treated differently in the pri- Was the primary department, like, Makoto and company, and the reserve department, like, this class? And they started, like, starting a war? No, that wouldn't make any sense! Byakuya was in both classes. Which makes no sense to me either. What do you mean? I, I, I'm just saying that both classes were present for this tragedy, probably. I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. My words are confusing, get the frick out of here. Well, we're on the subject of the stupid things. That file said something about students who survived. Is that... is it referring to us? And the rest of that file is... Oh, hold on a sec, you guys! Just... Just what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense! Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. Kind of spitting some facts. So you can't say something that simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me! Who are the students who survived? I think it's pretty obvious. I wouldn't know an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Freak you. Damn it, he ran away again! Uh... Hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. <gasps> Chiaki! Wait, what the frick? You're here too? Somehow it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electri electrical appliances. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll sell for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yeah, I will. Aww. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. That's true. Fair enough. There's a lot of electrical appliances in this mess, including home appliances, and equipment. All these look old. Do they still even work? And then the cell phone corner. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this variety, it may as well be paperweights. Well, the phones could have cameras. That's something. Um, was that everything? I think it was. Hmm? You donated? Bro, I'm so sorry, Sharky. I don't know what's happening, but my alert box, I can't clear the um the names in the bottom left, and nothing's coming up on my mini feed. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's, it's something weird. 
can you re can you repeat what you said? Because I nothing came up. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Well, actually, it's not even my bad. Nothing came up. Sorry, Sharky. <laughs> Please let me know what you said, and I'll read it out and comment on it. Is it motel? Motels are creepy, bro. Like, it, I'm not saying you shouldn't stay in a motel ever. I'm just saying that the one time I did stay in a motel, which was just this last September, I, w I went to New York, I drove there with my buddy, and we were the only ones there, and they had like 200 rooms, and we were the only ones there. And it was nighttime, and the pool was empty, and there was like no one working there. It was a night, it was a decent place, but it was freaky, bro. I, I regret staying there. It was terrifying. It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? Like, some motels are better than others. The one we went to was just a, it was a no-no. I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. Okay. Now, what a rundown model. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. See, I'm not that bad. It's just like a Hajime's house. What the frick? You've never seen my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Uh, you don't stand out as much as all. Blah, blah, blah. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> I mean, she's not really wrong. He's the main character. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. <laughs> Dude, okay, see, I'm not that. Like, some motels are nice. This one looks nice. The one I went to was not great. It was creepy. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? Oh, whoops. But we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? <laughs> wow. You're probably too vulgar to get this. But there's a saying, praise a fool, and you may make him useful. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I just said all the love, aw, oh, thank you, and told everyone to vote for me in the upcoming elections. Um, I think you made a typo, Sharky. Vote for me, right? Like, like Dr. Bonehead? Okay, cool. J just to make sure. Just to make sure. Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. Dude, she's so evil, bro. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. But thank you for the donation, Shark. You really, really appreciate it. Sorry for missing it. There's a vehicle? A rundown, rusted, and rotting car someone abandoned. <laughs> Maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. Well, let's check it out. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be a perfect would be perfect in a crime movie. If it's just to save the night, the cottage is good enough. Yes, I agree. But isn't Akane in here? Hmm, okay. Hyoko has grown on me a little bit, I will admit. The music venue? What kind of name is that, bro? The frick? Anakuma's going a little crazy. This building with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights obviously looks suspicious. Yeah. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. I don't want to go inside. Can, can I just not go inside? Would that be okay? Like, I'd be good with that. I might start campaigning soon. Oh my god. What's up? Oh, of course she loves this place. Oh, there's amps and stuff. What the? Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. Because this is a music venue, right? Dude, I can't remember the name of this place. Yeah, looks like it. I never expected to find a music venue! I can't help feeling excited! I never expected to find a music venue! I can't help feeling excited! Huh? Did I just say that twice? Huh? Did I just say that twice? <laughs> this is the best character, dude. I don't care what you say. Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. Not at all! I'm totally fine! Not at all! I'm totally fine! Huh? Did I just say it twice again? Huh? Did I just say it twice again? You don't look very okay. 
Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. This is just the beginning. Dude, she has the best facial expressions. It's hilarious. I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like the snug, it's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I understand, dude, that's, yeah. She has a way with words, what can I say? I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if you've really taken a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. Leave it to me. Like, let me bite you. I'm tired. I should hurry up and go check out another place. <laughs> Talking to a boogie just wears him out. <laughs> Make sure you search this place thoroughly. What's up, Sonya? That's a stage. I'll probably never have a chance to be in the limelight. Poor Hajime. What a splendid place, Hajime! This must be the fabled disco! Disco? It is where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lambadas. I've never heard that word. I have no clue what Sonya is talking about. There's a bar? Tequila? Beer? We're... Who are you serving? We're a bunch of kids, bro. That's not okay. Do not drink if you're underage. It's not good. So this is the baton lighting's control panel. I'm overage and I still barely drink. Like one drink a year, maybe that. Apparently you can control the baton light. Well, okay, actually my family's Italian, so we do have wine sometimes, but I am overage. So if you're underage, PSA, don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Apparently you can control the baton lighting with this. Okay. This place seems pretty straightforward. Is that, is that it? Yeah. What's up, Sonya? Game shows the same. Yeah, I clicked Sonya. Like, what the heck happened there? I'm not reading that name. Hmm. That was an accident. Oh no, I picked the right. I picked the right thing. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys want me to hang out with Nagito? Oh, there's actually a hospital now. Yo, I wonder who's here, huh? <gasps> it's for you. Is Fuyuhiko here? Oh my gosh! I, I know Mikan's gonna be here, but is there... Looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambience feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. I bet you he's here! Hajime! Holy shit! I, I'm sorry I scared you! But don't worry, even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something to be worried about. Yeah, she's like, don't worry, if you have a heart attack, at least it's here. It's like, I'm... But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Never mind. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? Put it together! You guys are alone! Uh, I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. <gasps> it means I need to check them, right? Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. Mikan frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? No. Oh, what's up, Gundam? <laughs> of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. Mark of defeating the devil? I have said too much. Forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, now he's already telling me to forget it. I wonder, is he talking about his like eye scar? Or tattoo or whatever it is? There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice, but there's no one on this island, so what was this notice? Who was this notice written for? What was it written for? Okay, hospital hallway. Oh, that's the outside. Okay, so let's go into the hallway. The patient room and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mikan. Okay, well, I guess I'm done exploring this place. There's so many places here, bro. Oh! Hajime! Over here! Please, hold on! Sana, did something happen? Just now. I went to the hospital and... It appears Mikan has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. I was, I was just there, bro! A very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick meals or anything like that, right? It's Fuyahiko. Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? 
it is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person is in the wind. What are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined? It is Japan's legendary medical drama. That Person in the Wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Is that true? Is that a real drama? That'd be cool. It's about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. We will be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. It's the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor? I don't really understand. So might as well head over to the hospital. I'm, dude, I'm right in front of it, bro. Was this supposed to be not the last thing I explored? Yeah. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. I... I literally walked out of the hospital, was greeted by Sonya, went into the hospital, and I'm late? What do you want from me? Are the others already here? There are patient rooms lining the hallway, but everyone has apparently gathered up the room in the very back. How bad is he injured, bro? You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonya. As expected from the ultimate princess, she cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's going to be such a touching scene, a worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? Wait, you're not coming? You're such an idiot. A touching scene? <laughs> Hajime, I'm jealous of you. J jealous of me? Mm. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress and you're even opening up to everyone. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> nope, not at all. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Yeah, I'm really curious too. It's gotta be something simple or crazy. Since you've dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. It's not gonna be. He's gonna learn, Nagito's gonna learn that sometimes you don't need to be the best in something to be a, a good individual, to be a, a good individual. Dude, I almost had an awesome quote. Sometimes you don't have to be the best in something to be the best you are. Joe Goffey, 2021. You can go, I'll sign autographs at the end, okay. You're right. It's not my fault for dragging it out, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for, for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please, go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did you really want me to... What did you really want to say to me? Whatever, bro. Let's talk to Fuyuhiko. I ruined it? I didn't ruin it! I still came out with a clean quote. That was a clean quote. Dude, I hate that. Okay, that scarred me, bro. I hate this. It's like the, it's like the humans who we saw that in the first game in one of the flashbacks. That's terrifying. It's no longer cool. It's cool. Come on, come on. Heaven. That's terrifying. Ew, what the frick is that? I don't like this. Bro, I don't know, I don't... Apparently I'm the last one to show up, I should hurry up and go. Everyone should be gathered at the patient's room at the very back of the hallway. Half cringy? It's not cringy! Are you talking about my quote? My quote was like legendary, bro. They're gonna remember, they're gonna remember me for freaking... Okay, I'm, I'm joking. Oh, oh, I thought this... Oh, it's this room. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're already here, but... What are they doing here? Put, use your brain for one second, bro. I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. 
How bad is he? Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. Fuyehiko. Did he lose his eye? Oh my gosh, bro. I actually forgot. I have Milky Ways downstairs. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I promise. I'm going. Pretty good timing. Uh, okay, boom. That had to be 30 seconds, right? That was so fast. Boom. Okay. Okay. Whew. Because when, when they have these scenes like this where I can't talk, it's the perfect time to eat a Milky Way. <笑>ただの傘力傷だ。全然傘力傷じゃないですけどね。うんうん。まあ、姿が見られて安心したわ。ふたばってんじゃねえかと心配しておったぞ。これぐらいで死ぬわけねえだろ。<笑> 死ぬわけねえだろ。あの。ブロ。I keep thinking like, bro, Mikan is so young. How is she like actually good at autopsy and th and then I remember oh yeah she's the ultimate nurse like she's legitimately the best nurse the best high school student nurse on the planet so earlier I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records there's a lot of sword related wounds caused by Peko that freaking sucks but they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Really? Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> so is, is his eye okay? <laughs> You're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having the devil's luck? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. True. Maybe Peko gave her life to protect Fuyihiko. She protected him? While well, she's getting attacked by that horde of marionettes? But if she really wanted to protect Fuyihiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. I mean, clearly. You think so too, right, Fuyihiko? That must have been what you thought. That's why he wants to live. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? Mikan isn't actually Mikan isn't actually a nurse. She's the she's the ultimate medical committee member, which is a thing they apparently have in Japanese high schools. I see, but it's the, it's the equivalent of being like a nurse in training, right? Or you can sort of associate it like that. That's interesting to know, though. Thank you. After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned in his bed away from us and stopped talking. I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexert himself. No need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. I'll be the one who avenges you. Seriously, he's not dead! Um, you shouldn't, you know, 
talk so loudly in front of the injured. Akane, Fuyuhiko's finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. Nekomaru's a sweetie, bro. I know that. I just have to win, right? The thing is, this remaining cast of characters, they're all, like, honestly so genuine. Like, like, Hiyoko is the only one who gives me, like, bad vibes. And even she's, like, getting there. Like, let's look at let's look at our roster here. Ibuki wouldn't hurt a fly. Mikan wouldn't hurt a fly. Hiyoko would murder a lot of flies, but, like, whatever. Sanya is a weird one, actually. She's the only one who might be concealing a lot. Chiaki's wouldn't hurt a fly. Akane wouldn't hurt an innocent human fly. Fuyuhiko, I don't... He wouldn't hurt a fly, bro. He's a... You know, come on. Nekomaru wouldn't hurt a fly. Kazuichi, I don't think, would hurt a fly. Although he's very emotional, which makes me a little scared. Gundam's weird, but I don't think he'd hurt a fly. Nagito, who knows, and then... Yeah, so... I genuinely have no idea who the next, like, killer is gonna be. This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. The same way Gundam isn't the breeder, but he's the animal raiser, the guy taking care of school pets. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Hey, Nakamaru. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. What the frick? However, I'm never going to do it to you again. It? Please keep your voices down! You're the loudest one here. What? Wait a sec, Nekomaru. It, it was my murder. There. Okay, they're clearly talking about something else. But we all, we all, we know what they're, it was my first time. I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world. What, is it a kind of training or something? Bro, dude, this episode has so, my body still hasn't forgotten. And now you're saying you're just going to stop all of a sudden. Can we, can we, can we not, we're, can we? Look. My body's getting all hot again just think Stop! Stop it! My body's getting all hot again just thinking about Four. it. Cause <laughs> Hey! You're kidding me! I is it what I think it is? If you're not gonna heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. Dude, that is <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, but it's clearly not what we think it is. <laughs> As Pro Z D said in that once again Oh there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they're not though. As he spat those words, Nekomaru let the patience rule. Oh, hold on, I, I can't live without it! Can we stop say- just say it! There's no way that it's actually that, so... Joe overreacts too much? Well, thank you. Uh, big one head, sorry for being topic, are you gonna fast pass the got chapters? Nope, I can- I can't. If I do, I would literally get my sponsorship removed, I'd get like- my- my episodes would be taken down, I cannot react to the Fast Pass chapters, so just the weekly. With a voice that sounded like it was wanted to cling on to Nekomaru, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> uh, it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hiyoko? It's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. She still blames him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko was the one who got Mahiru killed by Peko. Yeah. And Hiyoko. Uh, if I talk to Kazuichi first, you get a bonus scene? Well, okay. And Hiyoko is nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just gonna get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? Like, no matter what, it means it, right? He's still talking to it. Dude, he's like, that's all he can think about. Suspicious! It's definitely suspicious! All we gotta do is follow them! You think so too, right? 
A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. All right. I mean, I guess I'll talk to Kazuichi first. I mean, it can't hurt, right? It's been a while since I saved. It's probably impossible, but are those two in like an intimate relationship? An intimate relationship? That's not how a teenager would describe it. But didn't you hear it? How Akane was pleading as she ran after Nekamaru. Her voice was oozing sexiness, dude. The more he talks about this, the more he sounds like a dirty old man. But following after them is scary too. If I ever got caught, they might rearrange my face. Just if only I had more courage. Hey, Kazuichi, those two won't run. Those who won't run will never see the goal. Huh? Well, it's a quote from a manga I happened to see and it just crossed my mind. What an inspiring quote! Huh? Hajime, my eyes are open now thanks to you. All right, let's go run together. Dude, I swear. Huh, me too? Crap, I should've kept my mouth shut. Let's go to our horizon. Oh my gosh, it lit. Wait, so this wouldn't have happened if I hadn't talked to him first? Kazuchi was filled with a weird sort of energy as we left the hospital together. He was practically dragging me. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, our horizon is right here. Are you stupid? If you don't lose your voice, we're gonna get caught. <laughs> no problemo, we're already inside the cottage. Once they start getting into it, there's no way they'll be able to hear their surroundings. Is What if Nekumaru is like a massage? He gives massages or something, I don't know. Sure? I'm trying to think, cause her, her body doesn't, like what? I, it's gotta be something like that. Okay then, let's go my friend, let's run to our goal. I seriously should have kept my mouth shut. There's no way I'll be able to stop him. So how about it, Hajime? Do you see anything? Dude, Hajime's, I mean, Kazuchi's kind of like Hajime's BFF. It's kind of dope. No, but if we keep peeking like this for much longer, we might get caught soon. What the? Was that Akane's voice just now? Oh, wait, hey, 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 hey! What the heck was that? That's a chick's voice! It sounds hot! Could it be? Are they really? I knew it! What? I literally. I'm a god, bro. I'm a. What the frick did I say? What the frick? Dude, I am so smart. I literally predicted it! Yeah, thank God for headphones, seriously. <laughs> I literally predicted it! Oh, because I was like, there's no other, nothing else makes sense. Oh my gosh, he gives massages. That is so funny, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they have to give us this shot of Akane. Of course, they gotta give us the fan service. To be fair, I'm somebody... Okay, this sounds weird looking at this scene in context. <laughs> I, I, I love... Okay, never mind. Like, it doesn't sound weird. It's, I, I, I lo like shoulder massages. I love shoulder, like, okay, I'm just gonna, all right. It sounds weird saying it out loud. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Ultimate masseuse? Wait, is that actually his title? I don't think it is. That was Nekomaru's voice? Oh my gosh. All I'm saying is, if I could have a Nekomaru massage, I would take it, bro. Bro, that was hilarious. Hey, Hajime. Horizons are beautiful things that you keep chasing after, right? Probably? <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. 
So what exactly is a horizon anyway? You were using that word without knowing what it is? Yeah. Well, you know, it sounds kind of cool, right? Of all the words I know, that one sounded the coolest. Damn it, in the end, getting lugged around like this made me even feel it even more tired. <laughs> Dang it. I, I didn't get to talk to everybody else at the hospital, but it was worth it just to see that scene, bro. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual. Yeah, Nakamura was like, I'll give you a massage. Then he went, what? Da, 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 da. Muda, muda, muda. Just like raised his voice 10 freaking notes and fell into a deep, deep sleep. All right, what's going to happen? Nothing? Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, freaking why? I don't want to see Monokuma Theater. All right, I'm not going to read the Monokuma Theater out loud. Doing Monokuma's voice kind of hurts. Am I superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? It doesn't hurt, but like, it's it's a bit of a pain. Superheroes like, live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? I mean, attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? I don't know about that. Although, there are real life superheroes that are actually really interesting. They try to be real life superheroes, but they end up like getting into trouble and crap. It's like, dude, why? Why? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, now I'm mad and I won't forgive you and laugh, you know? They're lazy people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who is alone or unharmed, you know? They're always the winners, so they don't know what it's like to have a weakling's worries, you know? Why are you sit? And they like to wear fleshy costumes, you know? Bro, if you've played Final Fantasy VIII, Raijin is one of the side characters, one of the minor villains, and he always ends his sentences with, you know. I think, I think Monokuma's copying Raijin from Final Fantasy VIII, I'm just saying. Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elites who don't have many friends. Okay, that's kind of generalizing, but sure. Do you really want to admire people like that? All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Whatever you say. He's a My Hero Academia villain. <laughs> Monokuma's like, do you know what superheroes are? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Ohayo kusaimasu. Good morning. Good morning to you too, Monokuma, stupid. Ugh. Thanks to Kazuichi, I didn't get much sleep. My head hasn't cleared up that much. Oh well, might as well head over to the restaurant. I gotta add to my collection, bro. I feel like I'm, I'm missing a... Um, I got most of the ones on the second island. I, I'm gonna eventually do a sweep to make sure I don't miss any stickers. Good morning, Mikan. Hajime, good morning. Um, it's almost time to meet with everyone at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was about to go as well. I'm so glad. I went to check on Fuyuhiko, so I thought I was late. Aw, I see you're so busy this morning. She's a good person. <laughs> Not at all. I'm only useful in situations like this anyway. The other thing about the next murderer is most of these people are terrible liars. You know what I mean? How's Fuyuhiko doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. I understand. Then I shall go on ahead. I guess I should go to the restaurant. What if a murder happens where it was an accident and like no one knows who did it because it was an accident where a bunch of people were gathered together? That would be crazy. Yo, Nakamaru. Your voice is too soft. Project your voice more from your stomach. He's talking to me. He's like, how dare you give me that voice? Good morning. Ah, all right, now your voice will reach the sun. And to our departed, Mahiru and Peko. You're right, I'm sure they heard it. I'm just a mere team manager, therefore I don't know anything about art. However, when I saw Mahiru's photos for the first time, my vulgar heart was greatly shaken. Truly, that is a splendid thing. It's a pity what happened to Mahiru, but I will never forget how she taught me the value of art. Yeah, I'll never forget it either. Aw, that's sweet, bro. Nekamaru is a sweetheart. Joni's play volume 3 in English. Just to hear that I've heard the Monokuma voice. Briefly. Because I, I did see part of the playthrough of Dengarapa 1. Uh, the voices were good. It was so weird, though, hearing them in English. I'm just so used to the Japanese. I don't know. But they were good, though. They were good. Yo, Gundam. <laughs> For you to actually greet me in the morning. I praise your admirable endeavor, slave. Oh. Why did I become your slave? Speaking of slaves, Peko too was a foolish soul. Huh? I accept her desire to merely remain her owner's loyal tool. However, 
That's the limitation of base creatures. My four Dark Divas of Destruction are not tools, nor are they slaves. They are healthy underlings. And also friends. Is he saying their four names? And also friends, whose loyalty is matched by their devotion to military rule. At times we clash over our ideals, and our tempers flare. But that only bolsters our power, and allows us to reach greater heights. That is why I will one day exist as the supreme overlord of this world. Whatever you say, bro. <laughs> Just as I thought. Apparently it's too difficult for a simple human to understand. Friends, huh? I think he's saying something very cool, but the fact that his friends are hamsters is a bit problematic. <laughs> no, you can have friends that are hamsters, why not? Hmm, 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 what's happened? I want to listen, huh? I want to listen to songs by Ibuki's favorite artists! There's no TV or radio here, you know? I'm starving to death from musical deprivation! Uh, don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? They do, but it's still only the classics and the usual mainstream pop. Right at this moment, new albums are plopping out all over the world! Man, if only someone brought me a sweet CD they found on the floor. A CD, huh? If I ever find one, I should tell Ibuki about it. I wonder if I can find one. Doesn't it feel like we're forced to meet up at the restaurant every morning? Yeah. There's something I need to find at the supermarket today. Something to find? Want me to help you? Huh. It's fine. I'm just gonna look for a camera. And I'll probably find it really fast. What if someone murdered Free Hiko while he's in the hospital? That would be so horrible. I have a camera. Well... It's actually a toy camera. Huh? Really? If that's the case, I'd probably need a real photographer anyway. What are you planning? Wait, a toy? Since when did I have a toy camera? Is it one of my presents? I don't know. Hmm. Hey, Hajime! I have a favor to ask you. I guess I'll listen to what you have to say. Come to the music venue right after breakfast. Bring a camera, too. You got some free time, right? So it's okay, right? Oh, am I like banking on her free time? <sighs> because it's weird that she's like, this feels like in Persona. When, when like, instead of you approaching them, they approach you and they're like, we can hang out, right? But you had other plans and you feel so bad turning it down. I have no free time, I'm sorry. Fine. Whatever. I'm never gonna ask you again. What was that about? Does she have something she wanna take a picture of? Uh is it fine? It doesn't count towards free time. Did I ruin it? Did I ruin it? Well you guys said no! You guys were saying like oof and no, like don't do it. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine because we have a skip function. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because watch. Boom. Talk to Kazuichi. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, skip, skip, skip. Blah, blah, blah. Look, we're, we, we, we were right here. Like, we, we were right here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Remember Danganronpa 1 where I had to restart because of Hifumi? I accidentally did free time with Hifumi, and I had to restart like 30 minutes ago because I did not want to hang out with Hifumi. Oh my gosh, bro. Freaking Monokuma Theater again, dude. You said yes and do it, but that was later on. I'm sorry, okay? All right, we're gonna leave here, talk to Mikan, then talk to Nakamaru, then talk to blah, blah, blah. Hey Mikan, what's up? Skippy, skippy, skip, skippy, skippy, skip, skippy, skippy, skip, 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 skip. Nekomaru! What's going on, buddy? Nekomaru's pants are on kind of tight. I don't know why I just noticed this, but Nekomaru, I don't, uh, do I, I don't, okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe I shouldn't have, 
<laughs> Never mind. All right, Ibuki, what's going on? All right, here we go. Yeah, you did, Christian. But you know what? That's not that's not a great prediction. I, I, it's gonna happen every playthrough. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Have a camera. Come to movie five. Free time. Boom. I'm free. Yeah, I don't dislike anyone who knows their place. What the frick? And it's a promise. You definitely have to come. Somehow I ended up making a promise, but this is really is this really okay? I hope she doesn't make me do anything weird. All right, I'm gonna save it now. <laughs> I'm gonna save it now, cause why not? You know. I haven't hung out with Akane a single time. We should... Okay, here's the thing. We should probably hang out with her. Because she's really cool. And, like, I've hung out with most everybody who's still alive. Not Akane, not Nekamaru, not Fuyahiko, not Hiyoko, not me. Okay, actually, you know, maybe that's not right. I've hung out with Peko, who has died, and Mahiru, who has died. Nikamura is ripped, do you expect his pants to actually fit? Fair enough! Yo, Hajime! Hey, good morning. Oh, no. oh, you're looking better than usual. Everyone I've met is like that too. Did something happen? Well, Fuyuhiko is safe. That's probably why. I don't know why, but I also feel like I can eat more delicious food than usual. Probably because you get getting massages every day. Speaking of which, why don't I challenge my limits? I'm gonna eat everything at the restaurant. Yes! I got a vote from Victoria! Let's go! Even though she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks happy too. Yeah, is this a democracy or what, bro? You're gonna ban people because of their opinions? That's not okay. That's not okay. Oh, people want me to hang out with so many people. It's so hard. I'm sorry, there's so many people I have to hang out with. And I want to see what happens when I reach maximum with somebody. Good morning. What happened? You don't sound that excited. Kazuichi's playing that arcade machine over there. You can just play it together. Mm. Mm. She's like, <laughs> she's playing my machine. I played one match with him earlier. He told me to give it my all, so I did, and I got yelled at for winning a flawless victory. He said I was childish for playing seriously against an amateur. <laughs> Kazuichi, I wonder which one's more childish. Easily Kazuichi. Yo, Yo Ajime, how are ya? Are you playing a game? It's rare to see you playing games. Mm. Yeah, well, Chiaki's always into playing it, right? I couldn't help noticing. So, she's letting me play it for a little while. <laughs> it's not like this is my machine. There's no reason for me to give you permission. Oh my, no. uh, you say that, but you're like the queen of the arcade machine. <laughs> really? <laughs> you're not aware of that at all? Well, after getting beaten up in the previous match, I'll definitely return the favor. Mm -hmm. You don't have to return the favor. Uh -huh. What did you say? Are you saying I just have to stay a loser? <laughs> then let me tell you this. You'll definitely catch this topic's bait. You want to listen, right? Right, right! You just really want to say it. Mm. And what is it? That's it? <laughs> uh, listen and be amazed. There's a street on the third island with lots of busted machines, right? I found some portable game console thing in the junk over there. He's totally lying. Huh? Really? Is that true? <laughs> See? what I tell you? He totally took the bait. Oh. Bro, that was mean. That was mean, bro. Uh, you were joking. Uh-huh. But still, it looks like this is out of order. Oh, buddy. Uh, how useless. That was mean, bro. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Who do you think I am? I'll definitely fix it up until it's, until it's brand new. Aw. Oh, no. He... He literally did find one? Oh, but he's gonna fix it. Aw. That's sweet. <laughs> then when it's all fixed, I'll give it to you. Mm. Then I'll wait, but I won't look forward to it, probably. <laughs> probably? Look forward to it, otherwise I'll be sad, you know? Just watch, I'll completely fix it up, and I'll make you say thank you with tears running down your face. Isn't his intent kind of off? <laughs> he wants to <laughs> freaking do... <laughs> Kazuchi, bro. No, it sounds like he actually did find one, though. It's just broken. I don't know. I thought he was just doing it to troll her. Oh, they're up here now. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat light-hearted. Light Let's go. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyuhiko is safe. 
Um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together our information about the new island. In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from this island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. But there's a music venue! I got that, but what about the clues that we really need? Clues like information about this island, or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. In the town with all those machines, I found a clue contained within a file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. Oh, whoops. I heard maxing out Hyoko is worth it? Wait, do you get like a bonus for maxing out a character? Now I'm interested. I'm not maxing out Hyoko though. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed. Huh? Hope's Peak Academy's been destroyed? <laughs> it's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope's Peak Academy would fall. Bro. 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 You clearly... You're clearly a dumb, a dumb bum. Um, guys, I'm gonna be right back really quick. I have to answer an important call that I realized I missed. I know, uh, stick around though. Don't go anywhere. Uh, do I have a BRB screen? I don't think I do. BRB. I have returned! Easy and quick, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was an important call, sorry. Uh, just something really quick, wanted to make sure I didn't miss it. Um, bada bing bada boom. I let you guys enjoy Nagito's face while I was gone. I see someone in the chat says, I've never played this game, but the character on the screen right now is my favorite. Like, Nagito is so loved that people who don't even know the game like Nagito. Like, dude, that's like another level. It's probably just one of his pranks, there's no way it'd fall. Welcome back, thank you, thank you. Happy to be back. But even if it is a prank, it's not something he should be allowed to do. A symbol of hope getting destroyed. It's not something you should even joke about. <laughs> he takes this so seriously. Well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. Uh. Remember when Nagito was like a normal person who is just like really nice, but then he said that one degrading, self-deprecating de comment, and I was like... And I was like, huh, okay, he's got some issues. We've come a long way. If I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. So basically, on that island we found no way to escape. Nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> oh, well, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> okay. You don't have to correct us each time! <laughs> However, it's not all bad news. Fuyuhika will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think that he's gonna come back to us. 
He's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. Let's go! However, he's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. Yeah, I figured, bro. He totally deserves that. Ah. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? Man, I sure did. I figured he was going to not be able to, you know, there had to be some kind of permanent scar. Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. You certainly eat a lot without even listening to what other others are saying. Okay, then, since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. Train, you say? You hate training. How rare of you. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Okay, Kane. Get those gains. She's, like, really pumped up. <laughs> I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, oh, I thought he was going to cut to Akane doing something bad. <laughs> With that, our morning meeting ended and we all went back to our cottages. You know what that means? It's free time, boys. Free time, free time, free. Oh, that's true. I'm supposed to be Hiyoko. What are you showing me to do with the camera at the music venue? Are you guys sure this isn't counting free time? If it does, it's still worth it. Hey, Hiyoko, I'm here. You're late, Hajime. My my, if it isn't Hajime, what's up? Huh? Ibuki and Chiaki, too? Why are you guys... Huh? Huh, could it be? Does the cameraman mean you, Hajime? Oh my... <gasps> are we about to do a dance? In the... A dance and song? Cameraman? Wait, hold on. I don't know what's going on. Man, you sure I dance. You won't get it unless I explain it to you. Dance or not, it's impossible to find out without a hint or two. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to hold a memorial for Mahiru right now. Aw. Mahiru? Mm -hmm. Mahiru told me she wanted to take pictures of me jamming on an instrument. And she also said she wanted to take pictures of Hiyoko dancing. Aww. So we decided to do it all together here. I shall call this the Memorial Jam Session. That's really sweet. Ah, I see. So I have to take pictures of that. I guess it's a great idea. I'm sure Mahiru is going to be happy. If you think so, you're going to accept the cameraman position, right? Well, that's a huge responsibility. Huh? Are you saying you don't want to do it because of that? No, I will. There's no way my pictures will be as good as Mahiru's, but... I'll take as many as I can. I'll be counting on you. I'll do my very best to play an instrument too. Really? Huh, you too? Dude, let's go! At first I heard about the idea from Ibuki and I was just playing to watch, but look, I found this in the storage room. Is that a triangle? Let's go! Even I can play something like this, so is it okay if I participate? Instead of watching, I can join you guys. I want to mourn for my Bro Chiaki! <laughs> I love Ibuki, but I would be the most devastated if something happened to Chiaki. Like, that would actually break me. It's not going to happen. No problemo! You don't need skill on this stage, just heart. Well, I guess it's okay. My hair's probably going to be happy about that. But if you suck, I'm going to make you stop, okay? And so we finished our preparations and the memorial service for Mahiru began. I'm so glad I... Ah! Look at this clash. We got someone doing like a, a traditional dance. Chiaki on the triangle and then Nabuki's just going crazy. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm so glad I did this scene. I'm so glad. It's so that's adorable, bro. That's adorable. That's adorable. The voice actor is so good for her. Jackie's hitting that triangle with intensity. The combination is crazy and everyone's doing different things, but strangely it's harmonizing as well. I, I want to hear it, bro. I can imagine it. Even though our paces are all different, we'll be able to will we be able will we be able to be like this in the future? That means someone here is dying. And it's not going to be Chiaki and it's not going to be Ibuki, so you know what that means. Mahiru, can you hear this performance? <laughs> Are you seeing Hiyoko's dance? Yeah, Hiyoko's kinda, she's not as trash. She's only like 50% trash now. Not just Mahiru. Peko, Teru Teru, Byakuya. Are you all watching? It does my heart good. We'll never forget about you, ever. And we will not waste your deaths. 
We will survive and get off this island. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I finished my job without any problems and decided to go back to the cottage for the time being. That is adorable. Let's freaking go, dude. Now then, what should I do with today? Let's go! Free time, free time, free time. All right, so here's the plan. I feel like, let me give you a, oh, 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 presents. Presents, 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 presents. We gotta do presents. We gotta do presents. That is a necessity. Let's go. Oh, okay, I don't think I saw a spoiler. I genuinely don't think it was a spoiler, but I'm minimizing just in case. So I'm not looking at chat at all, because if I see that the message was deleted, I'll know it's fact. I don't think it was. I think I just missaw something, but I'm not taking any chances, dude. Okay. Uh, the beach. Put me on the beach. Put me on the beach. I got the trees. Oh, Akane? The frick are you doing here? Oh, it's you. I'm busy training right now. Go away. Uh, see what's was wrong. Although it's kind of fate that I ran to Akane here after just saying that I kind of wanted to hang out with her. Let's give it a shot. Alright, I'll read the chat in a bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Where are we at? Dude, that repeat rate is already pretty high. Do you guys think I should put more than one in? Because look at the repeat rate going. <gasps> I can get multiple gifts now? Wait a minute, I can just... Bro, that's so worth it. That's so worth it. All right, I'm, op I'm opening up chat. Uh, it was more of a joke than a spoiler. Fair enough, it was a joke, whatever, but still. All right, what should I do with the coins? Should I do like max gifts or spend it all? Yeah, this game is very fun. I highly recommend playing it if you've never played it before. Don't put that many in? Oh, well, okay. What do you recommend? <laughs> I mean, like, let's put in like 30, right? I know that's a lot, but like 20? Okay. Boom. That's it? Oh, I thought I was gonna get multiple presents. That's not worth it, bro. That's not worth it. That's not worth it at all. I'm going in, bro. I'm going in. I'm probably giving somebody a heart attack right now. You kind of want repeat items? That's actually true. So should I do it one coin at a time? Nah, I'm just gonna do one. Repeats are good. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, fine. I'll do repeats. You're right. Alright. Only while I'm doing the gifts, I'm gonna turn on the stand. It's getting kind of hot. But I will turn it off once I'm done. Because it's kind of loud. I just need some airflow, you know? Okay. Okay. Question time. Q&A time. I'll answer any question you have. Just send questions my way. I'll answer anything. Well, yeah. Unless it has to do with certain topics. Topics that must not be named. Questions are good, and some of them are terrible. All right. So, when's the burrito stream? Burrito stream when? It's not happening. Um, even though Webtoon themselves 
Empty themselves in the Tower of God stream said they'd watch it. I don't care. Who do you think dies next, Joe? Kazuichi. Uh, has your favorite character changed? Yes, I think. Chiaki's probably my favorite character now. Um, oh, and that goes with Pretty Pink's question. Who do you say his favorite character? I think Chiaki. Uh, although Ibuki is great, so... Like, Ibuki's like my real, like... That's like, ah, I love Ibuki, but like, my serious answer is probably Chiaki. Uh... Will you not, 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 not hang out with Yoko? Yes. My opinion on Sonya, she's really strange, but I like her a lot. I think she's hiding some stuff. Thoughts on who the main character is? Hajime? It's an interesting question, though. Nagito feels like he's the main character, even if he's not the main protagonist, if that makes sense. Like, he's like the most important character, in my opinion, to this game. Assuming four are gonna make it, who do you think is gonna survive? Well, in the first game, six made it, so it makes me kind of hard. Um, okay. Well, okay, fine. If I'm, like... If I'm only picking four? I Please tell me this happens. I want Ibuki. I, well, this is what I genuinely think. I genuinely think it's gonna be Chiaki, Ibuki. I can already feel you guys, like, you know, uh, being like, uh-oh, he doesn't know. Chiaki, Ibuki, Akane, and, um, Ibuki I'm unsure of, but I'm gonna say Chiaki, Ibuki, Akane, and Hajime? Okay, but if I'm gonna do two more, it'd be Nagito, and, uh, Econ? I guess? I don't know. How do you feel about... Oh, where's our Kamaru Nagi? Who's Kamaru Nagi? I know Makoto Nagi. Uh, and who knows what he's up to. How do you feel about you lose the election to Sharky? Imagine Sharky wins the election. What's Sharky gonna do? I still run the channel. I still run the Discord. What's Sharky gonna do even if Sharky wins the election? That's not even gonna happen. That's my opinion. It's not gonna matter. What if you did a collab stream? I, we're definitely working on some ideas, but it depends. It'll be especially after I move, which is gonna be next month. You sit in the chair and then Burrito also sits in that chair. <laughs> and then you can finally satisfy your audience. Get out of here. Have you ever given Nagito the Hope's Peak ring? No, I've only hung out with Nagito once. The very first hangout, I think that's it. I'm not ignoring the important questions. Who's going to die next? Kazuichi. <gasps> or Mikan. I don't know why. What if she dies in the hospital? Even though, like, Fuyihiko was supposed to die. Or something. I don't know why that came into my head. Why can I see that happening? That'd be horrible if Mikan died. It's going to be Kazuichi, though. Kazuichi's the next victim, bro. It's going to happen. Are you murdering Nekomaru and Sonya? How dare you? That's true. Nekomaru's dying. Nekomaru's dying for sure. But Sonya could also survive. Like, looking at the first game. Ah, see a copy. If you're actually leaving, see ya. No, it's copy. Okay, I think copy's just saying that. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, looking at the first game survivors, I never would have thought that Hero, of all people, would have made it to the end. I seriously thought he was gonna be the victim. 100%. I was like, there's, I was like, Hero's dying, bro. Hero is dying for sure. Because he's too stupid. Oh, Sharky is leaving. Take care, Sharky. Oh, no. I meant Coffee. Sorry. I was looking at Light's comment saying, I know, right, Sharky? And I just freaking said Sharky. Take care, Coffee. Sharky is staying. It's because both of your names end in E. <gasps> Achievement unlocked. Let's go. A fool and his money? What the frick? I'm not a fool spending money. I see y'all want me gone. But no. I knew coffee was kidding. I knew coffee was kidding. What did I tell you guys? All right. Wow. Wow. Look at this chaos. Uh, he was the victim though in the demo. True. I did actually see that. That hero was the first victim in the demo, but he wasn't the real first victim. He survived until the very end of the game, which is very impressive. Um. And Toko surviving was kind of surprising too. 
And to be honest, Owie as well was kind of surprising. What was Owie's nickname again? They didn't really, they never called her Owie. They called her something else. I can't remember. Start with an H. It was like Han, ha, uh. I can't remember. And then Byakuya, I, ex I kind of expected. Um, Kyoko, I expected, and obviously, you know, freaking Makoto, I expected, so. It's kind of crazy how the last two chapters of that game were just six characters. Wild. Hina, that's right, Hina. Yes, thank you. I cannot believe Taka survived, bro. I cannot believe Taka survived. Even my vote is not- I got Coffee's vote, let's go! Yes! I've gained Coffee's support because I knew Coffee was joking. Thank you. Christian says bye, Coffee. <laughs> Hina, dude, I knew it. For some reason, like, one of the reasons I'm good with typically good with names, or like decent with names, like Tower of God, is because I'm I'm pretty good at knowing when when um like the first letter of a character's name. Because the way my brain works is when I say somebody's name, even if it's someone I know in real life or in a video game, or whatever, I think of how the name is spelled. I have to know how it's spelled, you know? And that comes up in my brain. Like, I th it's almost like when I talk, the words are being mapped out in my head. Um, it sounds like I'm a genius. I'm not, because it's useless and it's annoying, but it helps me remember names. So, like, I knew her nickname started with an H. I just couldn't remember, like, the, full, the name, you know what I mean? Because it's not her real name, so I didn't really associate her with it. Um... So, long story short, I'm these that's one of the, my one of my secrets, I suppose. My brain also does this weird thing where like if I if I'm reading, so for example, the top left there, repeat rate. Those words stick out to my brain because the the letter the the number of letters add up to 10. You know? But on the right here, coins inserted does not have- it's not an interval of five. In my- in my, uh, brain, if I see a word- like, letters or words that- or, like, anything that's in intervals of five, it feels more satisfying. So I- I, I weirdly always count, like, the number of words in a sentence, or like the- anyway. It's pretty strange. It can be a little annoying, but I, if I relax, I can kind of turn it off. I think I'm a superhero. I think I'm, like, Einstein 2.0. Uh, okay. Who are we hanging out with? That is the question. What's going on? Uh, okay. Ibuki! I've decided Ibuki. I don't care what you all say, I'm doing Ibuki. Because Ibuki is best girl. Mikon, yeah. Someone's got target for Yuhiko, and she's gonna end up getting hurt instead because she's so clumsy. Totally agree. I totally agree. I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh, she's in the music venue. Oh, whoops. I'm not gonna say the name, but she's there. She is in the typhoon, as they say. The typhoon. Dude, the chat exploded with Nagito requests. I don't like Nagito, though! I just don't like him! Wait, what the... Where is she? Huh? Storage room? There's a storage room. I was not aware of this. Whoa! What the frick? I did not see this before. Two step ladders. I'm just going to have to uh, you can see your whole body in this flight mirror, checking costumes, and mirrors. Uh, we got guitars. I like it. He's just signed up here. You know, guitars and drums. I've seen before. Little sticker. Is there a Monokuma in here? A lot of stickers. I bet you there's a Monokuma hiding somewhere in here. I guarantee it. It's carpeting, wallpaper, even different paths. Uh, it's probably used to be like the front side. I walked past. I did not walk past her. <laughs> what? You're calling me dumb? What are you talking about? There's no way I actually walked past her. 
Are you- No, what- Are you kidding me? Wait a sec. <laughs> Alright. She wasn't there, though. Like, in on my screen, like, the stream may have showed her. She wasn't actually there on my screen. You know, that's- Yeah. There's a hospital on the new island, and Fuhiko happens to be there. <laughs> that's that's so convenient. <laughs> How the freak did that happen, bro? I've never gotten more than two hope fragments on somebody, so this is gonna be exciting. Don't ever change. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, oh, she's on to a conspiracy. All right, Ibuki. Let's reveal the conspiracy together. The answers might or might not be hidden at the hospital. I spent time getting dragged all over the hospital by Ibuki. It feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. Yes. Time to give Ibuki a present. I know what Ibuki likes. I know what Ibuki likes. I know Abuki well, and she would like anything, anything music related. Oh, headphones. Boom. Are you really giving that to me? That's awesome. Abuki will be totally pleased with this for the rest of her life. Okie dokie, let's start the club. Oh my gosh. Club, were you actually serious about that? Um. <laughs> oh, oh, true. <laughs> That's true. Kazuchi does have three. I totally forgot. Oops. Sorry. Oh my gosh, dude, get out of here! Why are you guys after me so much today? Like, I'm. I've made a couple mistakes. I'm sorry. Come on. Today's training is, but dum, but down, but dum, but dum. Racing! Oh yeah! Racing, does that have anything to do with music? Yeah. Hell to the yes! If you want to learn proper music theory, training yourself in the rhythm of racing is a must. Music has its own language too, you know. It's always nice to hear music that adheres to the principles of music theory. And it's easier to make people feel the beat as well. But Ibuki doesn't care about that at all though. Yahoo. Come on, let's go! Not only was I bossed around by Ibuki, I had to run five laps around the island for some reason? Oh my gosh! Man, that was really fun, Hajime! Uh, no it wasn't. How are you so energetic? Does she have a secret? What are you saying? There's no way you could go through a live performance if you get winded by something like this. That may be true. Then do you usually train like this all the time? I don't do it for training. Running is Ibuki's hobby. I thought this was training so I could learn proper music theory. Yeah. I also like playing one person tag and one person hide and seek too, it's a lot of fun. Wait, that's kind of sad though. That's kind of sad though. Sharky may not be good at video games if she's better than this. Oh my gosh! The blasphemy! Come on! Have you ever found an eight-leafed clover by the riverbank? It's seriously so hard, I definitely can't find one at all. Ugh. Isn't that because eight-leafed clovers don't exist? Yeah, yeah. Also, it's a lot of fun. It's fun to play a game called Will I Get There? It's super thrilling. Ibuki forgets lots of stuff really fast, so she tries to write memos for important things. <laughs> but on days I play that game, I go outside without thinking about anything. When I do that, surprise, surprise, no matter how long I'm out, I can't get back home. I just think of fun stuff all the time, and after I've taken a bunch of shortcuts and detours, I usually end up somewhere I've never been before. <laughs> One time I literally walked into a fishing boat and almost ended up in a foreign country. <laughs> Bro! Ah, but sometimes I like to spend time relaxing too. The other day, I woke up in the morning with a powerful hankering to look at the stars. So I just waited all day till the stars came out. Impossible, there's no way I can keep up with what she's saying. Also, also, once Ibuki starts talking, it seems like she'll never stop. That is adorable. Let's go, a report card updated. Constantly bombarded by weird topics. Alright, let's read what it says about her. She likes racing and a bunch of other random hobbies. I have a hard time keeping with her when she constantly comes up with strange ideas and talks a mile a minute. Fantastic, girl. I'm not constantly mean to Kazuichi. Come on! I love Kazuichi. I, uh, what are you talking about? I'm never mean. I've never once been mean to Kazuichi. Well, I did accuse him of being a murderer once. But, like, come on. It's still bright outside. There's no way I should just stay in my room and stare into space. Free time! Alright. Now, I know you guys might kill me. Because I'm not gonna hang out with Nagito. 
And I'm not gonna hang out with Kazuichi yet. I'm hanging out with Chiaki. Now I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? But I wanna. I just. I gotta do what I wanna do, and I. I wanna hang out with Chiaki. I'm. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be surprised she's here. I have to catch up to my. They have to be at. Okay, look, my favorite characters. Some of my favorite characters are are Ibuki, Chiaki, Kazuichi. Look, they're all in a line here. It's fate. So these three, I want to get them as max as possible. But I can't leave them behind. I gotta get her to three as well. I okay. Um, but then again, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if he's the victim though? I did say he's probably gonna die. Okay, fine. I'll hang out with him because he's probably gonna die. Are you happy? Gosh dang it. Because I, I genuinely think he could. So, fine, I'll do it. I'll hang out with Kazuichi. Fine. But, like, I eventually... Okay, I also am confident that she's gonna... Like, Chiaki's gonna survive for a while. So that's another reason why I'm okay with it. But that's the only reason. I think he could die, so I'll hang out with him. Fine. This, this could be our last hangout. Because someone's dying. Someone's biting the dust, bro. And it's, it's Kazuichi, for sure. Sure is boring. Should be bring for you to hit something so he's got something to kill time with. That's really nice of you, bro. Maybe we can bring him a book? I should try looking for one at the library. You come too. I spent time with Kazuichi today. Kazuichi. Kazuichi and I grew closer. I'm gonna give him a present. I know what Kazuichi likes. Sharky, you better... Okay, Sharky, you better stop with this election nonsense. Okay, because I'm doing you a favor here. Come on. Uh, flash suppressor? That might be a good, a good one. A reactor? Um, he's gotta like this. Yeah. You went to all that trouble just to bring me something amazing. Hajime, you're seriously a nice guy. I'm a little touched, really. Seriously, thanks. Hey, Hajime, do you have a dream for the future or something? Hmm, I've never really thought about it. Maybe I've forgotten what it is, what it was. Aw, oh, that's sad. How about you, do you have one? Uh, well, you know, sort of, since I'm a mechanic. There's not much a guy like me can do besides tinker with machines. So, if I'm gonna reach out for the stars, then that's the only one for me. Do you mean an F1 racer? Hell no! Something bigger and faster! Oh, never mind, don't even think about it. He'll just laugh. He'll definitely laugh at me. See, I told you, your face is totally giving it away! I'm making a face? Ah, don't you get it? I mean, if I'm talking about the best machine, and I'm obviously talking about that. <laughs> they're not gonna. Con they're gonna continue spamming this election thing. I'm telling you. Just don't even think about it. Forget about it already. Does he want me to guess or not? <laughs> um, the thing Kazuichi probably wants to talk about. Like that's. I'm trying my best, bro. I'm trying my best. Uh, to to stop this election nonsense. A rocket ship. Yes. Could it be a rocket ship? Laugh all you want. I don't care. That was the only one that was like super out there in the stars. That's not even a joke. What? Why would I laugh? That sounds amazing. Ah, seriously? <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Don't you think rockets are amazing? Ah, that's awesome. They're the biggest and the fastest. They're at the very top of the vehicle food chain. But still, there's just one thing I'm worried about. No matter how hard I work to make such an awesome machine, there's no way I can give a girl a ride in one. Wow. Yeah, if you get motion sickness in a car, you'd have a really bad time inside a rocket. But a fantasy like that is very you, I guess. If you ever overcome your motion sickness, I can totally imagine you riding a motorcycle with a girl. You'd probably hang out with a bunch of delinquents and get into all kinds of trouble, too. So you think so, too? I mean, it's normal to think like that. Kazuichi, did something happen all of a sudden? Ah. It's nothing. I just remembered something I need to do, so later. For some reason, Kazuichi, your brother locked away. What the frick? I don't really know why his attitude changed. Oh. Color me intrigued. I hope he doesn't die. I hope he doesn't die just for that one reason. I need to find out what the frick he's talking about. Build a rocket ship. 
but he knows that he can't give girls a ride in one. When I said that he could just ride a motorcycle, his attitude suddenly changed. Why can't he do that? Color me intrigued. While still holding on to some hazy thoughts, I decided to go back. Okay. Now it's nighttime, yeah. Ding dong, ding bong. Frick you, you stupid bear. His glass never runs out. It is now 10 p.m. Training your rooms. Shut up. It's not like I have anything I need to do. So I should just get some sleep for today. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. Yeah. Marakuma Theater. All right. What's up? It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or want to forget, they all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. Dude, I feel like this is all the stuff that the developers were like, should we include this in the game? Nah, we'll just make it a Monokuma Theater. We'll make it just something he says in Monokuma Theater. Or the developers were all having like an existential crisis, so they <laughs> wrote it down. That freaking scared me, actually! I was like, wait, what's the announcement? Because it zoomed out? Oh my gosh, that's, that was like a jump scare, Buki. You can't do that! Good morning! Looks like today's gonna be another perfect tropical day! What the? What a huge success! I received such a nice reaction! Ibuki, how'd you get in here? Jeez, Hanjime, you're so careless! Careless? I made sure I locked the door. And I destroyed that worthless lock! Are you kidding me? Why'd you destroy it? Nah, who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. I wonder if that's gonna be important later that Ibuki can do that. What? <laughs> Four? Heads. No, that was just three. <laughs> da, if you got time to nitpick others, then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. I'll explain the details there, so I'm counting on you. Bro, I don't I don't care. I'll hang out with you anytime. She's, you're like the best. She's like a hurricane. But she did take the time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me. Did something bad happen again? I'm feeling a little depressed now. Is the monument going to be destroyed? <laughs> don't be depressed. What the frick? All right, let's give a couple presents to our little uh, snake of me. Snake of me. Boom. And I'll give you... Potato chips. I got you. Good snake of me. Okay. I'm taking care of my snake, bro. I take care of my animals, don't worry. I'm a good person. I take care of things that need to be taken care of. Ah, uh, what the frick are you doing here? Nagito's... Alright, I don't mind Nagito. Uh, good morning, Hajime. <laughs> Even if you ignore me, I'm already happy that our eyes have met. You really are a kind person. Anyway, after what happened to Fuyuhiko, you understand what I, what I was saying a little better now, right? What do you mean? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say that it felt unpalatable to me. But Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. He used Peko's death as a stepladder, so he could shine even brighter, and cling to an even stronger hope. You... Huh? You don't agree? Frick you! But it's decided that's what hope should be. That's why you and the others progressed forward. That's what hope should be. Oops, we should chat later. We need to be at this restaurant soon. I'll go on ahead. He genuinely believes what he's saying, though. He's not just doing it to get on their nerves. How long is he planning to keep saying such foolish things? Dude, that's Nagito. He's gonna do that. Until, until he finally realizes the value of freaking life. I don't know. Oh, it's you, Hajime. Were you also summoned by Ibuki? Yeah, seems so. Has she been going around waking people up? Did she break the lock to your room too? No, that never happened. I was awakened by a knock at my door going at a 337 clapping rhythm and some shouting. Did I miss something? No. That sounds extremely annoying. Was that the only one whose room got broken into? Oh my gosh. For her to go to the trouble of waking us up. What in the world happened? I have a very bad feeling about this! Let's make haste and head over! 
It's not gonna be a big deal. He's right, I should hurry up too. It's gonna be something simple. We gotta go through the back way because we always gotta talk to Chiaki. Because she basically lives, eats, sleeps, and lives here. Oh, Sonya's here. Good morning. I am so glad today is another clear, sunny day. Another? More like... Actually, now that you mention it, ever since we came to this island, it hasn't rained once. Bro, are we in a simulation? I'm sorry. Look, the layout is so... It's just so weird. Like we were, like, teleported here. It's like... I think we're in a simulation or something. It's gotta be, right? Like, even the... Mm, I don't know. Everything seems so video gamey. Like at the top left, you have the, like the little like the t the font is very like blocky. It wasn't like that in Dangerapa One, so I don't know. Why is that? No, it might be best if I don't think about that too deeply. Yeah, it, we're clearly in some kind of freaking. But that wouldn't like that'd be, how? How would that even make sense? Like I'm assuming, nah. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was. Everyone's backs. So they're forming a circle around something. My prediction is that the monument was destroyed by someone. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. Fuyiko! The boy has arrived! Your eye patch looks pretty good, buddy. <laughs> the dun 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 music. I got something I want to say. Bro, it's been one day since we saw you. This guy is recovering like crazy. It's too meta? Yeah. Is he, like, different? He's apologizing. Okay, Fuyuhiko's also making it to the end. My prediction. Okay. What the heck? Fuyuhiko! Coming in strong, my man! Let's go! So, the six survivors. Ready? It's gonna be three boys and three girls, just like in the first game. That, that uh, Just because, why not? Not that it matters or anything. I'm just... Whatever. Okay. Hajime, Fuyuhiko, and Nagito are gonna be the three boys. And the three girls, it doesn't have to be this, but the three girls are going to be Akane, Chiaki, and Ibuki. Or, yeah, sure. Nah, Ibuki's going to freaking die, bro. Oh, Gundam! Gundam has to survive, too! This is so hard! Did they all have to survive? Okay, no one else is dying for the rest of the game. There we go. Boom! Just what the hell was that? Huh? Hey, he looks good, dude. I like it with the eye patch. It's nothing really, just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like that was the first time Fuyuhiko ever greeted us. That's my man, dude. Um, that eye patch of yours. That's nothing. There's no way that's nothing since that eye is no longer. So you can't see out of it, huh? It's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I've gained some prestige or something? You do look kind of badass, not gonna lie. Like, he looked so cutesy before, now he actually looks a little intimidating. Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Hyoko, do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Don't you get it? It's your fault Mahiru is dead. No, not just Mahiru. Pekko died because of you, too. It's all your fault! Vote jump? What the frick? Um, Yoko, we've finally been able to get it together with everyone. Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. Yeah, 
You're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. It's my fault that those two are dead. Are you planning to just give us your so what attitude? It's not that. As he squeezed out those words, Fuyuhiko he goes suddenly collapsed to the ground. Bro, this is kind of sad. Oh, it's a Gundam hamster? That makes more sense. Jumpy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Jumpy. My bad. Sorry. Jeez. Calm down. Fuyuhiko. Come on. Oh shoot! Guys, get him! Get back to the, get him to the hospital! Get him! Get him back to the hospital! What the frick? Fuyuhiko has slit his own stomach. What? Are you saying he cut open his own freaking stomach? What are you doing? I was gonna blow my nose and chill, and then the. the fr no, you should never do that! You fool! That doesn't mean you should slice your own stomach! Um. Must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. You're right, Kazuchi. Let me a hand. Y yeah, sure thing. Stop it! I can walk there myself. There's no way you can walk. Even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again, bro. Can we just like calm down? Also, coffee? No, that's not. Don't. That's not. No. I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Who cares about that? Let's go! The others carried Fuhiko out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were left there... Yeah! You feel bad now, Hiyoko! Yeah! That's what I thought. You're not a ter You're not like an 100% trash person, Hiyoko. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're not 100% trash. You're only 50% trash. That made you 75% trash? I'm willing to give you... Work on it. Go to therapy. Baby steps. It's okay. We all have, you know, it's okay. It's fine. Just be better. Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? Hey, Hiyoko, I've been thinking about this for a while, but... What would Mahiru say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would Mahiru say? Mahiru say? She'd probably get mad. Oh, sorry. She's talking. It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. So, well, I mean, really? So when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we'd know how we're supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. I mean, fair enough. Not not to this level, of course. Mm. Mm, this is a rare occurrence. You all are gaining hope. Frick you, Nagito Kameda. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now is not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Uh, now that you mention it, she's gone. 
It's so strange for her to not join us for breakfast. I thought she was here. I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? I mean, hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? She's always weird. That's the first time he's said something normal. She's always weird like the night sky blowing up. You know, he's just like, she's weird. But I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as he finished breakfast. Soon after we decided to return our car. Why are we returning to our car? Just look for a Kane! I never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because everything that's happened. But she put the feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for us anymore. More free time! Let's go! Yo! Let's go! More free time already? I was really hoping we get more free time. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I am going to hang out with Chiaki because you all denied it to me last time and I'm getting my hang out with Chiaki. I don't care what you all say about Nagito, Gundam, you got to do it. No, I'm hanging out with Chiaki for the love of everything. Let me have this, please. Who is it? Is me. Is me. I'm starting to get hungry. Maybe I should head to the diner. I'm hanging out with Chiaki, bro. Yeah, you can come with me. You can come with me. I spent time today eating a hamburger at the diner with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer today. Definitely. All right. There's there's gamer stuff. I'll find it. Um. Ba -ba -ba. A video game controller? I think I gave that to her last time. Oh, there's the toy camera. I wonder if he said that because I actually had a toy camera. That's why he said that to uh, Hiyoko. All right, I'll just give her the same the same one the controller. <laughs> She's like, stop giving me the same controller. How'd you know I wanted that? I'm totally surprised. I never expected you to have such an awesome secret ability. Thank you. You've made me really happy. And then she just goes to sleep. Is she sleeping again? Hey. Snap that is the type to get a vanilla frappe at Starbucks? First of all, what's wrong with that? Second of all, what do you mean Chiaki is like the second main character practically? Or third main character practically? Are you calling me lame because I'm hanging out with Chiaki? Kyo, your taste is terrible. I'm saying it. Your, ta your taste is awful. I said it. That's, I'm moving on. <laughs> hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and rest? Uh, no, since you're here, let's talk. Wait. We're literally in her room. If you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do a Kane next. Oh, if I can even find her. My adventure ended like this. That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half asleep. Huh? I can't believe you don't get my Shadowgate joke. Hey, if you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. I'm just kidding. Kyo's taste is fine. Unless you dislike Chiaki, in which case your, ta your taste is it plummets. But like, hey, I respect it, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyo. I'm so hey, you fired shots at me, I'm firing shots back at you. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. Hey, if you're bored, you want to go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. I want to go to the fun place. Fun place, huh? Frick. What's she going to like? Not the airport. Why would she like the supermarket? Uh, uh, I guess the supermarket's kind of fun. Uh, uh, the, uh, the park. Frick. How about the park? When you're playing a game at the park, all the kids just gather around for no reason. There was a game you're only able to play in the sun. It's very difficult for adults and shut-ins to play. Looks like she just wants to go somewhere else. A fun place, huh? Boom! Should we go check out the supermarket? I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Chainsaws are the strongest, though. It sounds fun, so it's fine. I don't really know what it means, but I guess it's fine if Chiaki is okay with it. Chiaki and I walked to the supermarket together. 
We walked through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival. This place has too much of everything. Hmm? What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These sweets look cute. <laughs> I don't dislike Chiaki, I was joking, but now I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I thought, it, it seemed to me that you were slandering Chiaki and I had to stand up for her. But you know what? All is forgiven. All is forgiven, Kyo. We're, we're on good terms once again, I suppose. <laughs> uh, oh, those are sweet Those are sweet rice cakes for Girls' Day. Man, this place seriously has everything. I see. They're called sweet rice crackers. Oh, crackers? Did I say cakes? Why did I say cakes? I, I can't read. You eat them during Girls' Day, you know? Girls' Day. The same question. What's Girls' Day? Huh? You know, it's on March 3rd. You're a girl? You're a girl. Didn't you celebrate it with your family? I mean, I know we had, like... Is it, I, I, never, I never thought of, like, those events as, like, a big deal. <laughs> She's like... Ah, crap. <laughs> I'm sure she has her reasons for not knowing, but even so, I... No, it, it's nothing. Forget about what I said. Um... I don't really mind. <laughs> I did have a family. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. You had a father? Then your mother... No, I shouldn't ask about something like that. Hey, hey, so what is Girls' Day anyway? Bro, you can't just do that! You can't just do that! It's a doll festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for girls' health and success. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers and mochi that comes in different colors. I see. <laughs> That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. It's nothing, really. I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this. But for her not to know what Girls' Day is, what kind of path does Chiaki have? It's probably a Japan thing, because I, I had good, you know, I don't know what Girls' Day is. And my past is not crazy. It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. Aw, we made that promise, left the supermarket. <laughs> let's go! I need to think about a place I can take Chiaki that'll make her happy. Bro, that is a Dude, I'm gonna get a cavity, it's so sweet. Let's go. I took Chiaki back to her room, otherwise she'd just find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. All right, let's see if we can... I'm guessing Akane is not available, that's my guess. Still bright out, plenty of time. Okay. Let's see who's available. I'm guessing Akane is not, but let's see. Chiaki's there. Uh, who is this? Nekamaru, yep. And Kazuichi. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Gundam and Sonya. Have I hung out with Sonya yet? I don't. I think I did once. Kyoko. Oh, whoops. Boop. Nagito. Gonna ignore you like the plague. Um, Akane! There she is! Hey! Let's do it! No spam, please. That is a no-no. That is a big no-no. Up! -no. Oh. Why are you in front of the typhoon? I got no business with you. Go away. What the frick? I'm inviting you. Didn't I just say I had no business with you? There's something I need to do. I spend time today watching Akane devote herself to training. Okay. Dude, Akane, what's on your mind? Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Yes, I'm giving you a present. Present time. Present time. Present time. It's Peko's sword. Why am I singing like that, bro? I gotta show off my skills somehow. What can I say? Sword book? Uh, no! Why is this item called that? Let's pretend like that's not a thing. Alright, what would she like? She would like anything that has to do with gymnastics or muscle growth, fighting. Um, Yakuza films. 
a doll, a radio. Huh, this is... I'm not finding... Amer oh, a clacker? No. Nah. Nah. Spam in general is a no-no. Oh, that's a great gift for Chiaki. Uh, D&D, uh, D uh, D &D, let's go. D&D &D dice. Uh, sh Bro, I don't know what to give her. Like, genuinely. Food? Oh, true! She likes food! I'm so stupid! That's like her other character trait. She likes food! Coconut? I'm gonna give her a coconut. She's gotta like it. Yeah, okay, thank you guys for the help. Oh, what's this? Can I have it? I could probably pawn this off for some decent cash, so I'll gladly accept it. What the heck? Hey, you. Hmm? What? What's your name again? Dude, come on. It's Hajime! Hajime Hinata! Oh, right, that sort of sounds like your name. Sorry, sorry, I keep forgetting somehow. I'll remember it easier if you keep giving me food or something. Are you an animal or something? Oh well, later! Uh, no, wait, hold on, we only just started talking. Well, even so, I'm not interested in someone who looks like they have low fighting power. Ouch. Just from looking at you, you're probably around a two. I don't deal with anything lower than the trash, you know? Oh. Let's calm down, jeez! What kind of measurement system is that? Like, why are you so, why are you focusing on fighting power? That doesn't matter in gymnastics, right? Huh? Gymnastics, what are you talking about? I mean, you're the ultimate gymnast, right? <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Setting records and winning competitions is easy money. Wait, so you're not even passionate about it? Money, you're just doing it for the money? <laughs> yeah, that's right, wow. I've been doing it since this really persistent old man convinced me to give it a try. I've been running and jumping all over the place ever since I was a kid. You know, it's, uh, what's it called again? That thing where you run nonstop through a bunch of cluttered areas? Is it kind of talking about that? It's when you keep running as you jump around obstacles. Okay, it's, it, oh. It's, well, I guess it could be either one of these, right? I mean, it has to be an obstacle course. Cluttered areas, yeah. It's the same thing, that's so dumb. Oh, isn't that, isn't that the thing where you get bread to eat? I suppose, I guess that's not right. You keep running as you jump around. That's so dumb. Is that parkour? Ah, that's it, that's exactly it. That's what the old man called it too. Well, it doesn't matter what it's called. When you get got people chasing you, you just naturally end up doing parkour and you're running away from them. Just try chasing me sometime, I seriously won't get caught. What kind of situations do you get into where you need to do parkour in the middle of the city? She's pretty crazy, but I'm a little jealous of how uh, cheerful she is. Nice! Alright, I'm, I'm glad we're doing- we're slowly getting to know everybody. After continuing my mostly one-sided conversation with Akai, I left the area. I have a question, guys. If I wanted to specifically hang out with someone like twice in a row, is that possible? Or like maybe like you know how you get like two free time events and then the next day two free time events, could you do those twice in a row? Because I really want to get someone to maximum hope fragments. Because I never did that in the first game, I don't think. There weren't hope fragments, but I never did everybody's free time events, like all of them, I don't think. It was hard to keep track of them. In this game, it actually shows the progress. It's getting dark outside, it's nighttime already, huh? It felt fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. Is it because you're having fun? It's Akane. It's Akane. The doorbell? Does that mean someone's here? Hajime, you're really smart. I cautiously walked... He's like, wait a minute. If someone knocks on the door, does that mean that somebody's there? I cautiously walked toward the door and opened it slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. It's a bookie again! Wait, come to think of it, she never explained why she wanted everyone to gather. Nice to have met ya! <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet ya. You know, since we've already exchanged nice to meet yous. <laughs> Ibuki, you again. Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. I'm sorry! Well, it's a lot better than the last time you broke into my room. Ah, 
Ah, you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. I can? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I can steamroll a character? That's good to know. All right, all right. That means you have, that means you have gout. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what do you want? Um, Dabuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? See, this thing. What the? That's totally a girl's writing. Invitation ticket, 9 p.m. at the Typhoon. The Typhoon is the name. Party for Fuyuhiko Kazuryu's recovery. This is definitely Sonya. Let's see, a recovery party for Fuyuhiko at Typhoon at 9, at the, at the Tea Typhoon at 9 p.m.? What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Oh, it could be Monokuma. How rude! This could be Ibuki also. Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma! Oh, is, is this your doing? I, I don't know what you're talking about at all. Okay, that makes sense. I just figured it was so meticulously crafted and it looked so like perfect. I'm surprised Ibuki was able to, to do that. Well done. I, Ibuki just, just just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. Well then, Ibuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. Is something going to happen at this party? Every time we have a party, someone gets freaking murdered. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Um, Typhoon is that music venue on the third island, right? Huh. 9 p.m. That's in 30 minutes! But even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's Hiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? True! After all, he just slit his stomach this morning. Dude, what the frick is wrong with you? But she took the trouble to do all this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. I don't think anything's gonna happen tonight. I think it's a little too soon, but... There's usually, like, more setup, but maybe not. Maybe something's gonna freaking happen. What do I know? What do I freaking know, you know? Um, let me, uh... Give two more gifts to Snake and me, because she's so close to evolving. You know, presumably evolving. If her previous patterns can be, uh... You know... Can be ascertained. That's not the proper use of that word. One more! Boom. I'll give you some gold. I'm giving you some precious gifts, bro. Oh, wait. She evolves at steps... Steps taken. I'm so stupid. Her hope... Her hope meter is high, though. That... That, that has to help. Wait, Cough, are you in this game? Bro, look at that. Coffee's in the game. Let's go. I'm walking physically because it it's good for Snake and me, okay? Snake and me wants me to take steps. I'm going to take steps. Uh, bing, bada, boom. Okay. It's the third island. All right, forget screw this. <laughs> I'm so impatient, bro. <laughs> I don't want to keep you guys waiting either, though. Let, do do not give Nagito cleaning duty. That's a that's a disaster waiting to happen. The music venue is probably over here. Yeah, copy me to cameo, bro. Let's go. All right. Music venue, parking. Hey, what's up? Nagito. Buki invited you too, right? Yeah, I'm honored. But since everyone else is also going to be there, celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery, <laughs> no matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. He's Nagito's growing on me a little bit. Even his constant freaking, you know. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. How, how idealistic. Now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy, oh, who cares anymore? It's like, we're already used to it. You don't have to say, like, he's weird. We know he's weird. Is Ibuki gonna put on put on performance? He's here. You got it fixed up fast, bro. Akane's not here though. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
There's 10, 11. Akane's the only one missing. Several people had already arrived at the music venue, but... Free Hiko. Why are you... What? Is it bad I came? No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? Yeah, it's nothing. There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. I'm not overdoing it. You probably should have held this party later on when he was feeling better. Fine then. Let's just... Just let him do whatever he wants. But... It's fine, just let him be. Apparently Yakuza have pain tolerance down to an art. Hmm. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyahiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. Yeah. Dude, his character has gone through some growth. He's probably trying his very best to change. But it looks like Hiyoko definitely didn't come. Oh, wait, what? Am I blind? Wait, why? I think I'm blind, bro. I counted 11 plus, no, nine plus the two outside. There's four dead and Akane, I don't think was there. Maybe Akane was there, but not Hiyoko. And that seems to be the case. And Akane is not here too. I just miscounted, I'm an idiot. What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, right when Necromaro expresses his unease, that's when it happened. Whoa! Oh my! Suddenly the stage lit up very brightly and the person who appeared was... Hiyoko? Oh, Abuki. Let's go! Hey, let's go! Is it now? Okay. Growth is very pog. Woo! I'm your biggest fan! Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at a music venue. She must be really good. Since she was originally a member of the high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to her musical stylings. I'm not skipping this, are you kidding me? I'm turning it up! She's jamming on the guitar! Her screaming is really good! It's unique! Get it, bro. Let's go. You know, not my style, but like, it's good. It's interesting. She's rocking the guitar, though. That was interesting. That Hey, you know what? I'll clap. I'll clap. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, his face is terrifying. What the heck? That's so creepy. Dude, that's gonna haunt my nightmares. I'm gonna get cursed. <laughs> Such an overwhelmingly baleful resonance. Even my four dark divas of destruction look less lively than usual. I, I too am starting to feel chills. With a title like From Me To You, I thought it was gonna be a sweet love song. I actually, I honestly, it was kinda good. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school, the high school girls band was creative differences. <laughs> well, it makes sense, you know? That must be why. Yahoo, it's awesome. That's the first time I've heard such a famous song. Are some of them gonna like it? Yoko? Ah, you came? Oh, she's here, that's true. So what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But if you were attending Fuyuhiko's recovery party, that means you've already... Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Because he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Dude, that spray scarred me, bro. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry. So he can try to trick us. There is no way that is possible. No, I get why she'd think that of me. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe in you. Get it? That doesn't mean we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Fair hey, that's a step forward. I do not relate to Hyoko and only Ryo Hyoko, okay? Oh. Huh? Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. Sorry. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. Ew, don't cry. Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see. Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. Dare I say, character development? She's also trying, huh? Exactly, yeah. The old Hiyoko, there's no way she would have ever forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. That's nice to see them change, bro. Hey, what are you looking at? N nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him, not Akuma. There's no way he's going, not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start the next song. <laughs> Why not? Clean my glasses. I'm clearly, I'm clearly reading this wrong. Hold on. Well, I don't need glasses to see. These are computer glasses, but still, they must be blocking my vision. Uh, I squeezed out the baby. <laughs> I have no idea who the father is. You don't want to grab a partner and slow dance to that song. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Dude, don't show that face. <laughs> Oh, join the party! Come on, Monami, let's go! Hey, what's everyone doing here? Whoa, Monami? Hey, don't interfere. Oh, and I was enjoying such a fun party, too. I wasn't invited to the party. Aw. Obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. Double guess. But seriously, now's not the time. Now is not the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? A Akane, Akane is... Akane is dueling Monokuma. Now, someone pointed out earlier 
that if you look at the regulations, there is one rule that is different. There is no rule that says you cannot attack Monokuma. That was in the first game, but there is no rule that says it in this game. So, you know how, like, um, Ikusaba Mukuro, spoilers, kicks Monokuma, and then he kills her. Like, that's not gonna happen here. Akane is dealing Monokuma! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What did you say? Nekomaru is probably worried. At this point, Akane is gonna be in danger. Please, do something to save her! It looks like my bad feeling was correct. Monokuma wouldn't kill her, though. There's no way. That stupid fool! No, I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake to, to not keep my eyes on her. Aww, he cares about her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Damn it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life, or my name isn't Nekumaru Nadai! Oops, sorry. No, it's not the time for regret. Let's make haste! Of course! Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. Aww. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! Dude, Nekumaru was kind of the best. Hey, Monami, where's Akane and, Nekuma and Manakuma? Um, they're at the beach when we first arrived at this island. Please hurry! If you don't, Akane's gonna get killed! You don't have to tell me! I'm going full speed ahead! Do, 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 do. Nekumaru's just... He's freaking going in, bro. We should hurry, too. Nekamaru bolted from the easy venue as fast as his legs could take him and followed him soon after. Sakura dueled Monokuma in the first game and she got out alive. I should hurry too. Okay, I'm sorry your party was ruined. We can party after we rescue Akane. Hey, everyone. Aww, that, uh, I'm sorry, but one of our friends is gonna die. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No, oh, that's not it! I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck! <laughs> Screw this half-baked comfort. If this were a song title, I'd be salt seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Poor... Poor Ibuki. Uh, oh, read Asami's rules? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> yes, but that's Usami's rule. That's not Monokuma's rule. Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. She's right. I should hurry too. All right. So I know Akane's in danger, but Yoshi has a great point. Uh, I'm gonna go as fast as I possibly can. Um, I'm coming, Akane. Frick! I select. Oh, perfect, okay. Oh, shoot, what did it say? It's just like said, I can't stand uh, any more situations where someone's taken. I need to hurry over to the beach. No, I have to go as fast as possible. I have to. Dude, I have to. I'm, I know it doesn't matter. I have to go as fast as possible, bro. Otherwise, I'm gonna... Fr okay, fine. I'll... Go, 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 go. Yeah, there's been two executions and murders. True. Freaking... Go, 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 go. Yeah, but Nekumaru and Akane's fight. Yeah, that's true. That was pretty violent. She was bleeding at one point, but I don't know. After running there at a full sprint, by the time I got to the beach, I started to get my breath. I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Don't. She's fine. <gasps> Akane! Why did you do this? She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Because he's an absolute monster. She's fine.
Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal! Marakuma is an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. Oh, wow! And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks? Is that even possible? However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least... I hate you, Nagito. Every time I give you a little bit of credit... I want to... At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster- She's not dying. Like Fuyahiko did, you see? Don't frick with me! I never want to feel that feeling ever again! If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life! No, you can't, you'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself! Aw, oh, she, she's really taking care of him. It's just a little life Pekko gave me. It's not precious anyway! You just said you're gonna keep living! You stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Dude, Nekomaru! Huh? You guys stand back. I'll take it from here. And there's no way. This is Nekomaru Nadai's. Nekomaru? Nekomaru? Nekomaru, what are you doing? No, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nekomaru, don't you dare. No, then it looks like I'm serious. Might as well finish this. No way. No! No! The world shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white, and within that white I heard a voice. He's crying.
Why the frick are we talking about Nagito in the chat? This is Nekumaru's moment. Yes. This is. Uh, I just, dude. This was his stream. He did so many things this stream. Like, not anything like out of the ordinary. Like, it's just that lately we. He started to prove himself as he kept saying like I don't want anyone else in our group to die. I, you know, I this is our group. Like, I want to. We're, we're gonna be okay. Like, he really said so many things today that. Right when I actually like, I've always liked him, but like, I, 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 I was like, I've always liked him, but this is when I was like, man, Nekumaru. I kept saying that. I kept, I kept saying like, Nekumaru is like, he's awesome. And then he just the door. No, what? No. Shoot, I freaking alt tabbed. That happened like that! That happened like that! No! And he showed so much care for Fuyihiko as well. Like, he wasn't ever, like, necessary to the plot lines of the murders or anything. He was just always like that. He was always just there. No. I hate this. I there was no build up. Whenever there's like a murder, I'm always like, here it comes, here it comes. We heard the announcement, or you, you know, the text is like, and then I saw it. You know, it's this happened out of nowhere. This is me. This is me. Are you kidding me? Uh, Nekamaru died! What? 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 Holy crap! Dude, Monokuma, I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna... And I'm gonna do... Do... I'm gonna... Tor mm -hmm. <sighs> Instead of the rule violator, Akane... What a major failure! I ended up killing Nekamaru! Who had nothing to do with this? He was kind of like soccer, this big person with a big heart who just wanted to take care of everyone. True. Legitimately true, though. He was the, he was the perfect little boy. Not little boy, he was a big boy, but... It's faint, but his heart is still beating. He's not dead yet! Ah! He's gonna hurry and treat him! He's an absolute beast! He tanked it! What the frick? Hey, hey Monokuma, you can do something like this, right? Save Nekamaru like you saved me! That's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that means you're the one who violated the rules. Then let's just say we're even. In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, Let's just say Nekumaru is the sacrifice. So isn't it okay to say we're even? You're not gonna save him? Jeez, guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if you had a meaningless death. So, for today only, I'll activate my special trump card. That's when it happened. Science started bringing it out of nowhere. What? And it gradually came closer and closer. I, what is happening? I, I'm getting deja vu. Yeah.
And after he said that the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished from my sight. What the hell? Why did this happen? Hey, he's gonna be alright, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course, he's obviously gonna be saved! He was hurt bad. But Fuyuhiko finally returned to us! I cannot believe Nekomaru is gone now! No more. I can't stand this anymore. This is filling us with such despair. Even if he lives, the despair levels are off the charts. Hey, can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. This moment is gonna make Akane... It's gonna make Akane... grow so much. They just killing people and bringing them back every chapter now? They never killed Fuyuhiko. Cuz, 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 cuz! This isn't cuz! This is what happens when we let our guard down! All this talk about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never gonna rely on anyone! That's the reality here. Are you saying it's, it is meaningless for us to, to even work together? If it really did have meaning, Nekamaru wouldn't have ended up like that. He ended up like that. Because of this weird feelings of friendship. Bro, look at Akane. That's a new sprite. Hey. You understand too, right? Frick you, Hiyoko. Insulting Nekamaru like that. Frick you! When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. I mean, it's like, yeah, they, they kind of pulled a bait and switch, but like, there's still so much impact from it. H Hiyoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. We don't have to worry about Coach Nekamaru. Huh? Man, that's disappointing. It's not your fault and you're not even worried about him. Nakane, you're not worried about Nekamaru? There's no need to worry about worrying! I know Coach Nekamaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's gonna die from something like that. There's no doubt! Nekamaru is definitely gonna come back! So, when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. True, we can have another party! Oh, Kane. As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekomaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you... Because if anyone was going to survive that freaking blast, it's Nekomaru. The guy's built like a giant. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus the nightmare continues. Bro. I am the worst! Manakuma Super Fail Story 58, a Tengu came down from the mountains. A long time ago there was a village that was afraid of Tengus showing up. I don't know what a Tengu is, but okay, the Tengus apparently did as they please, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. That's stupid, but is it really the Tengu's fault? Is it actually the human's fault for ruining nature for destroying the mountains where the Tengus lived? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones! Everyone now it's time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Monokuma Super Fables the end. Wow. Wow. What a terrific story. What a terrific story. Shut your mouth, bro. As usual. Well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. 
but I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. The despair music. I feel like I had to share this ancient feeling with some anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Bro, what if there's a murder? What if someone finishes off Nekamara while he's in the hospital or some BS? Something's gonna happen soon. Off of the off of this situation with Neko. With him to die. What's up, Fuyu? Eh, it's you, Hajime. <laughs> Even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. So Nekomaru. What that bastard mean by his final firework? That lands more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs. Just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. Hey, Shut up! Don't say another word! Hey, Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. That was probably out of the line. I mean, not really. Fihiko. Bro, this just got deep fast. Shaq, you playing video games? Get your mind off things? Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, morning. Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekamaru. Bro, best girl! Come on, feel better. She's tied with Ibuki. As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. Huh? I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Is someone crying inside? Mikan or is it Hiyo? It's Akane! I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. It's Akane, you idiot. Who do you think, who do you think is crying? Use your brain for once, you idiot! to us. <laughs> I'm scared. What happened? Could she be in a shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday, she was acting braver. Frick. Hey, it's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anywhere. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? That idiot, he lied to me about Mahiru being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. What? Huh? Why is he telling such a pointless lie? I don't know, I hate being lied to. I won't feel satisfied until, until all his joints are bent at awkward angles. Huh? Nagito wouldn't lie. Well, probably. It'd probably be best a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why did you have to tell such an outrageous lie? What the heck? Huh? Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko! Huh? I know. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. What the f- That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone! Y what are you saying? Hmm. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekomaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate. But a transfer student is apparently going to come soon as a replacement. What the frick is happening? <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. You, are you messing around? I'm not messing around, I always speak the truth. In order to prove it, I'll explain it specifically, especially to you. Listen carefully, Hajime. I finally discovered who the traitor is. You know, the true identity of World Ender, the traitor who is hiding among us is Mikan. Oh. Byakuya! 
That's right. Byakuya is alive! Um... He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Bro... I... Why would he lie? We literally saw him getting stabbed! He got stabbed to death! We, we, we saw her body! The only way would be if this is a simulation. What happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nakamaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nakamaru is dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want to, I don't want this anymore. Let me go back home. She must be shocked that Nakamaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way that explains a change this sudden and drastic. Pardon me, everyone, but do you have some time to spare? It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. What the frick? Are, why are you drooling? Good morning! I work, look forward to working with you all today! Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyota! Aren't you acting strange, too? Be careful, Ibuki! Hajime's dangerous! He wants to... Bro, what are you... What, what the frick is going on? This... He wants to kill you and eat you. What are you saying? Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I say so is a lie. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. I mean, you were kind of lying for that first part of the game. Kind of. Not really. I see. So it is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. <laughs> what the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. <laughs> That's not it! Uki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. I don't... I can't follow. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Why have you forgotten me? I'm Mikan Tsumiki. Anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do this, see what I mean? I mean, her eyes were going crazy. My hand or her forehead? Ibuki, just a second. In exchange, please spare my life. I suddenly placed my hand on Ibuki's forehead while she continues about gibberish. She's hot? What is this? It's heat is abnormal. That's right, she has a terribly high fever. Uh, what the f- Then could the others? I can only feel your forehead too. I'm sorry, I'm so weak. I placed my hand on her crying forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has a high fever. There's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too. I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead once again. Oh my gosh, he's seeing things. He's seeing things? He's seeing things. It's just weird because, you know, I've barely seen any spoilers, but I thought one time I might have seen a spoiler that said like, oh, some of the dead characters aren't dead. I don't know about that though. Because if that's true, it's something weird. And it's not what this is happening here. It's not what this is. Once again, I got the same result. Huh? Are all three of them all three of them have fevers? That's the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is. What the frick is happening? My goodness, that's obviously bad! Monokuma! For him to appear right now, does that mean this is. Well there! Can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too. Please give me an explanation for the love of everything! Pounding footsteps! Explain! Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered onto their faces. Now what? I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Did something happen to you guys? 
Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. Oh, hold on! Manakuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? What happened to Nekamaru? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear! Monami, you don't know what happened to... Maybe, like, the explosion from the, uh, the cannon, like, caused radiation? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nekamaru? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with... Who the heck is that? Nekamaru doesn't have a weird ability like that! Bro, you suck! What the frick is that? Jeez! Oh. Yeah! What the frick is happening? Now that I've shut up the nuisance, let's go back to the topic at hand. Though, I'm pretty sure you guys already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. So it's just as I thought, the true identity of this high fever is... Oh my gosh. I hate this guy. That's right, there's a new motive that I've given you. The new motive. This is the despair disease. What the frick? Despair disease? Junko? Well, I thought it had to do with the second game. I could be wrong, though. I don't want to say anything more, just in case. But. This doesn't make any sense, so I can't believe it. You know, there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Anyway, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. You're such a frick- you're so full of crap! You're full of crap! Oh yeah, first game you can talk about. First game you can talk about. D despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing! Yeah. Let me tell you all about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is afflicted by the liar disease, so he is just lying. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Can you believe Monokuma invented Corona? <laughs> it's Monokuma is the cause of everything, bro. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess? They just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities. Except for Nagito. It's not like all you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful! Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person just like a cold. You mean it is contagious? Don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got sick. Let's run, Miss Sonya! It'd be terrible if you caught the lowly disease of the common folk. That's right! Let's run away! I don't want to catch us a weird disease. And why is that a motive? I'll clear the disease or some crap. What the frick? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon after everyone falls into a crazy state? Isn't this quite a novel idea? That's such BS. Oh my gosh! A killing that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality! That is such- so, it's not even them! It's not even them! Think of all the murder tricks. That's such- it's, it's not even them! Is there any way to treat it? Why? Is there a need to treat it? I mean, this is despair. This despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. It's a disease that cures your soft hearts. Your soft hearts toward killing. I hate this bear. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder! You bastard! You better stop talking about this bullshit! <laughs> it's all my fault. I'm sorry I'm always bothering you. Yes. I've decided. As an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Are there any charcoal briquettes somewhere? Uh, I'm pretty... I found some at the supermarket. You're such an idiot, bro. Stop it! Akane, Nagato, Ibuki. You guys, stay put. Lock them in their rooms. You're wrong. I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito made a, a fake name. I'm sorry I've kept it a secret till now. Oh, I see. What the frick? She's believing him again. So serious. Oh my gosh, bro. This is awful. Dude. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. He's lying. 
Despair, 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 despair. It's amazing. You all should get it too. This is creepy. We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. This is so opposite. We all, we all have to die from this despair disease. That's the only way. He collapsed. Nagito. Now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Because we're going to have to take care of Nagito, we're going to catch the disease. Where will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease, or even before that? Bro, this is not cool. I'm so excited about it, I'm just going to stand around naked. <laughs> Shut up. Just kidding, I'm always naked. Hey! Damn it. Nakamura's incident just happened, and now this? Where did that peaceful mood that lasted until yesterday go? It had to go away. It had to. This is bad. Nagito is foaming at the mouth. She's right. I've never even seen foam that color before. It's an ephemerally rare color. Normally only found in the depths of the Netherworld Sea. In this case, the color doesn't matter. So let's hurry him over to the hospital. Got it. I'll help out. You're going to catch the disease, bro. Um, what should we do about Akane and Ibuki? We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what'll, what they'll do if we leave them alone. Let's go, Fuyihiko! Hey, bastards, can you walk? Allow me to confirm! I just have to alternate the movement of my leg, of my left and right leg, correct? I love how she's just stayed the exact same. <laughs> Hold on! I, I'll walk, so don't leave me! <laughs> then let's go! With the diseased in tow, and Nagito, whose condition was clearly worsening, we rushed over to the hospital. This kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? See, this it feels so fake. This Everything that's happening feels so, like, crazy. Machines, mana beasts, and the magic wand that can turn a cow, a chicken into a cow. You know, this despair disease. and It's just, like, so wild. It's, it, if these people are still alive, which I don't want to, I don't want to say that that's fact, because, like I said, it could have just been something weird. Um, then that could explain it. But... I'm, a, I'm acting under the presumption that they are dead, even if this is a simulation, because Nagito lied about Mahiru being still alive. Unless that was the only truth he told. There's a possibility they might be passed along. What the heck? Damn, what should I do? I will go make the infected change their clothes, and then I'll have them sleep in the patient rooms. Understood. I just have to change my clothes, correct? I'm scared of changing. She's scared of everything. Anyway, everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with her shoulders, Mikan disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Mikan is reliable. So. Damn it. I never expected us to get sick. What's going to happen? I would not mind if Nagito retired. Permanently. Is Mikan going to personally change their clothes? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Yeah. Does that include Nagito, too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark divas of destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Oh, no. Hey, is this stupid conversation going to last much longer? Shouldn't we be seriously thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on, hmm. Nagato is always rabid, but they just... Why are you behind the counter, bro? This disease resembles an illness the Demon King once unleashed long ago to wipe out a large country. There is no need... Of, there was no reason it would work against me. The Supreme Overlord of Ice. Wow, I did not... Okay. I am worried about those three. But is there a chance that Mikan will catch it while she's tending to them? Nagito wouldn't know if it's true or not, so it wouldn't be a lie. Very true, very true. We should consider that too. All I'm saying is, the circumstances of this game feel different than the first game. The first game, they were like, it was just different. It felt different, in a way. The way that the bodies were working, and the way that, like, they left, and there wasn't anything, like, too, out, too extraordinary occurring. There were a couple things, but... We should consider that too. Sorry, consider what? Yeah, exactly. Mikan's gonna catch it, bro. 
By any chance, is Mikan gonna attend to all of Nagato's needs? Damn it. This is a dilemma. I don't wanna get sick, but I'm jealous of that disease, bro. Now's not the time to say stuff like that. Dang it, not the BS, Joe. I mean, well, fair enough. Manakuma said the disease was spread by insects we can't see with our eyes. Would bug repellent from the supermarket help? Interesting idea. Wouldn't hurt. That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagito, Kane, and Nabuki aren't acting normal. If it spreads to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Based on their ob observed behavior, I cannot deny that. Plus, at the beginning of the game, it's like we entered the building and then we were like, there's like this weird warping thing. It's like we were being drawn somewhere. It was so different than the first game. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. I hate her so much, bro. Hey, Hiyoko. I know, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. Make sure, what do you mean? Jeez, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. Quarantine! Isolate? If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. Didn't you live through 2020? But still, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? Hey, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? You're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. Hold on a sec. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Chiaki, do you- don't tell me you also agree with this. It's to prevent a killing. As long as that disease is Monokuma's motive, if we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Even if we quarantine them, who's gonna take care of them? Mikan's gonna stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she already caught the disease. But there's no way we can leave her by herself. Then why don't you stay too? Huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. So, I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if something happens. Contact you? How are we supposed to do that? Oh, right. We need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep meeting in person, we can catch the disease. So, I'll let you handle that, Kazuichi. Uh, yeah, got it. Fret not. We are not going to abandon you. I shall sanction myself from nearby in case anything happens. Nearby? There is a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. True. What? Do we really have to stay in such a dirty place? What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if the disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. We must be vigilant about protection. I have those who I must protect. They're just hamsters, dude. That is an unkind thing to say, you feet. How dare you call my four, four dark divas of destruction hamsters? Fine, I'll stay at the motel, okay? Jeez, how annoying. <laughs> Even if it's a quarantine, we're still gonna be on the same island, so just call us if something happens. Wow, I'm actually quarantining myself? What are you frustrated for? This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to fall for that? Because what if we kill each other in the group? It's not like we've stopped being friends. Aww. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together here, you know? Because that happens! The Manakuma gets what he wants! Hey, Hiyoko, what'd you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off. What's wrong with that? This... This must be that moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime are enough people. <gasps> He's sacrificing himself, dude! Are you saying you're gonna stay here too? Huh? You too? <laughs> the life, this life of mine is a spare anyway. Fine then, do whatever you want. 
Plus, isn't Nekamaru here as well? Hey, Fuyuhiko, are you sure? You might be endangering yourself, you know? Hey, don't make me repeat myself. You're really, really okay with this? Then I'm gonna leave the rest to you too. <laughs> Whatever's happening over there, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? Uh, I am sorry we are forcing this upon you like this. So the people who are staying at the motel... What if there's a murder at the, at the motel? Nah. The people at the motel are... Um, Sanya, Gundam, Kazuichi, Hiyoko... And that's it? No, no way. And, uh, Chiaki. Gotcha. I am sorry we're forcing this upon you. No, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. Probably. I'd really prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. What if the murder occurs while we're sleepwalking and no one knows who did it? Genuinely. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I am counting on you. <laughs> And I'll make sure to figure out some way to communicate later. Bye-bye! Do your best and try to stay alive! Wow. Well. Wow. Dude. We're, we're quarantining. It's legitimately happening. And just like that, the others left. Leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it would turn out like this. It's not like it's their fault. It's that bastard Monokuma's fault. I can't believe he'd actually arrange something as irritating as a disease. Uh, thank you for waiting. Uh, they finally finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. Huh? Why is it just you two? Oh, we didn't even get to talk to her about it. Um, you know. Ah, uh, I know. He must have left to get fruits to bring back later. She's so innocent, bro. I feel bad for her. She doesn't know. Oops. Everyone is so kind. I'm so glad everyone is so thoughtful toward their friends. Yeah. Well... Like I said, we're all equals when we're sick. Let's all work together and do our very best. Bro, this is so sad. This is so horrible. Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. And so, we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are three people who caught Monokuma's despair disease. Kane, Nagito, and Ibuki. There's also Mikan, who's nursing them back to health. As a safeguard, Fuyuhiko and myself. Altogether, six people are staying at the hospital. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuichi, Sanya, and Hiyoko are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nakamaru, he's not back yet, but... Anyway, until we do something about this despair disease, our current situation isn't going to change. We have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Guys, this might be a good place for us to end, to be honest with you. It's almost 6 o'clock. We can't go for too much longer. Unless you guys, like... Unless something big's about to happen, but... I don't think so? I don't think so! I mean, should I keep... Okay. You guys know what's best. Should I stop here, or should I play a little bit more? It was a good stream. We're good? You think we're good? It's nice here. Alright, this is a good place. Sounds good. Next time, I'm sure there's gonna be a murder. I cannot believe what happened with Akane and Akuma. That happened so suddenly. I still think something's about to happen. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. If we keep going, we can't stop? Alright, then we're gonna definitely stop here. Bro! Dude, I freaking adjust your environment? Oh, I thought it was like adjust my room. I was like, what the frick? Woo! Guys, thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. We're definitely gonna do this again next Friday at 2 p.m. as always. I just like, I don't. There's a lot of mysteries going on. 
and I'm very curious what's gonna happen from here. My guess is that the people in the motel think they're safe, but I think they're I think one of them is gonna be murdered. I think it's gonna be like a plot twist. Could be wrong though. Um I did remember to save. Yep, I saved, so we're good there. I still have this weird theory about this like dimension, you know. I don't know, but I that I could just be totally wrong about that. I don't want to rely on what I saw because it probably isn't true. I mean, even if it was, we'll find out later, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to think about it. Regardless, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. Sharky, thank you for that donation. I'm sorry I couldn't see it. Um, vote for me. I am I am the Dr. Bonehead, the one and only. Thank you. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Uh, and also Sunday for the Tower of God stream. Don't forget. Peace out, guys.